welcome to our channel. Uh, we are Dysylvania from Romania, and we're a bunch of lovable geeks who play D and D and have very beautiful vampire English. Oh, vampiring! Oh. <laughs> What is vampire English, you ask? Uh, is our non-native English, where sometimes we sleep on the accent or we make mistake. Uh, but we're running today a short adventure that's called Gehefme Runway, and I'm here with some key members of the D&D community in Romania. They're awesome people, and we're gonna get to know them starting from... Hello, I'm Vlad, and uh, I'm an actor, I'm a musician, I'm a theater director. Uh, I also write geeky stuff like fantasy and sci-fi. I'm also a member of the Pivnice and Balauri stream, which is a stream in Romanian uh, for Dungeons and Dragons with the Romanian lore. Also, and this is very important to mention, my first role today was a natural one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Anna, probably the only one without vampire English. I'm originally from London, but I am here in Romania as... I don't know, I guess I do like some community DMing. I run Avatar... The Avatar RPG, I run Dungeons and Dragons, uh, Candela Obscura. I'm looking at some other ones, and I've GM'd at Gen Con, and I've gen GM'd at a few other conventions and stuff, and bringing my talents here over to Romania. It's awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. Hello there. <laughs> Jokes aside, I'm Sherban. I'm a student here in uh, Romania. I actually am doing my uh, bachelor's degree this year on Dungeons and Dragons. So <laughs> that's fun. Uh, I've been a dungeon master for seven years by now. I'm in love with D&D and uh, all other, and other tabletop RPGs and yeah. That's I've been a professional DM for one year by now. Like, at one of them. He must pass. He's the young hope of DD guys. <laughs> <laughs> we are all old! You're the not the oldest. Hello, my name is Edward. I'm a software developer. I've been playing DTRPG since I was 15. I don't really have that much experience in front of a camera, so this is gonna be a new experience for me. Uh, I'm into all things geeky, from LARPing to sword fighting and. Whatever, is, whatever else may sound uh, niche. That's super cool. Edward here is an important member in the LARP community in Romania and he does Hema Hema, it's called. Yeah. That's super cool. You should go see him at the tournament. Hello everyone, I'm Paul. I am a DM for the Elemental Beacon, which is a D&D community in Romania. Uh, my love of storytelling and uh, theater in um, the high school transformed into love for D&D. So uh, right now I have four to five years of DMing and I'm excited to be here and going this adventure with these awesome people. And that's... Who, who are you? Uh, I'm Lair, but you know that already. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing special here to see. Sorry. Come on, he's a he's a Come voice, again. He's a voice actor. He's a, the, the active member of the Dysylvania. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and... Um, what the... Yeah, he's cool and he has fluffy hair. <laughs> Um, so, before we jump into today's episode, we want to thank our friends, starting with Rolling Hills Craft. I want you to imagine that you're in a dark, danky, stinky wood. The trees are all gangry and not well adjusted to the light of the moon above. But then suddenly, you hear a roar, like... My god, something's moving! The earth! And then you look up and you see... Is that a plane? Is no. that Superman? No! No! It's Rolling Hillscraft! Oh my god! Yes! <laughs> Our friends at Rolling Hillscraft are sponsoring today's episode. Incredible! They have amazing miniatures, incredible terrains, and tiny health potions like those that Carla I'm gonna had. drink one. Yeah. Oh no, it's made with dice. <laughs> oh no, don't choke on that. We want to thank them, and you can use our promo code Dysylvania10 for 10% off your purchase. Right there in the, in the screen that's covering me right now, yeah. and that is pointing towards... Oh, right, it's over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah right there, right, right there. Left. You can't see my face, but it's there. Yeah. Um, cool. So, for the ambience and music, we want to give a special shout-out to Pixabay and Serenescape. 
you're gonna hear their uh, songs and ambience throughout the whole show. And the time has come for us to go and jump into Gehet May Runway! Gehet May Runway! Are we runaways. excited? We're excited! <laughs> In our story on a dusty road in a carriage with barred windows and carried by <laughs> horses uh, you are here escorted by a lot and I do mean a lot of members of the city guard and this is because you are accused but of committing a serious crime in a city along the coast and you find yourself in this situation because you broke the law in various ways. Whether it was due to bad luck or you deserved it, motherfuckers, uh, you are caught and now are all sentenced to Shadow Forth, a notorious horrible prison where you await your sentence that might very well be death. Here comes something because the door opens and someone should oil that definitely and the guards change and here comes a new guard that you have never seen before he has a name tag and it reads Michael he's a young teen scrawny looking guard who looks at you and sees please blood describe me what he sees he sees a uh medium-sized rabbit with the uh, ears covered by a cowl. He has uh, red eyes like the albino, albino rabbits have, but he's not albino, he's uh, in a um, kind of a brownish uh, ochre color, fur. Uh, he is wearing a pendant uh, on his neck and he's shakingly nervously because um, he's somewhat outraged by the situation he's in and somehow he's, he's afraid also. He looks over his paper, his, shakles, his hands also shake a little bit. And he looks over and says, Gorin Rumpelpa, right? It's, it's Gorin Rumpelpa. Gorin, this was it. Gorin. Yeah. It says here you killed a man in cold blood and desecrated him by performing pagan rites. Is that it? It, it, it wasn't all that. I, I didn't kill him. You're first. a killer. I'm. I'm not. I'm not a killer. I'm. I, I was there. I was giving him his last rites. I believe you. Don't seem to be believing me. Sure. Sure. So we. Who we have next? Who about <laughs> you? And he looks over you. So, who he sees is a sort of medium height female who has got like pale blue skin, but she's got, you can see like on her hands, on, on her bare arms and her face, sort of like some sort of white marks that kind of remind you of like very light clouds in, in a clear sky. And she has quite thick, dark blue hair that's tied back with a handkerchief. She's wearing kind of the clothes. She's wearing pretty plain boots, trousers, and a leather vest. But all of it looks like it's seen many, many days in the sea, many days in the sun. You can see that it's worn slightly, and she's got like a sort of a 
capelet with a hood. Um, you guys also notice that her hair seems to sort of move like it's being blown very lightly by the wind. Um, and she has a number of like belts and sheaths and stuff where there should be weapons, but clearly they've been taken off her. And she is going to essentially be um, kind of leaning up against the wall, playing with one of the sheaths like it's a knife. Um, she's clearly bored <laughs> and sort of watching everyone as you all kind of respond to this guy. So Michael, the scrawny looking young guard, leans and he said, Oh, Saren, Barrio, right? Yeah. So um, it says here you committed piracy, right? And above of that, you stole something, a barrel of powder, right? Um, and then you fucking exploded the whole town, right? I mean, it wasn't on purpose. Sure, and this man didn't kill uh, someone and perform pagan rituals on him, right? Right, I didn't. Not like her. <laughs> Are you imitating my accent? No, I'm not. Sure. Right, right, right. Um, what about you, fella? And he looks towards Yushirvan. Your character, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Dendro. He looks at a scrawny, tall, pale elf with long white hair kept in a ponytail and a scrawny unkept beard he has this dark uh, eye like the square of the eye is black and the iris is an emerald green mm -hmm. and he looks at the guy he wears a rusty scale mail with a hooded cape uh, above it and he holds, he fidgets, fidgets with an amulet at his neck, around his neck. And he looks at the guy. What do you want? It says here, and I want to check if the information is right, right? Right. Uh, it's a danger of Valen, right? Yes. Right. Uh, so, um, it says here you attacked the city guard while he was in the forest patrolling, right? And you wounded him. He was hunting. That's none of your concern, mate. So, he was uh, hunting on the holy ground. He was hunting. Um, it's actually the crown's ground, if I may. And it says here you wounded him, and then he died. And he did not die. He died. It's right here on the paper. Don't look very well. It's right here on the paper. It says here he died. You were murderer, right? No. Sure. I healed him. The sanctity you of killed him. I healed. I keep hearing killed. <laughs> you might check your healing. Sure, sure, right. Actually, Someone dropped I've something. Heard I've heard killed as well. Just saying. Maybe he can perform pagan rituals on him as well, right? There were no rituals, just last rites. What about Kelemvor? <laughs> Kelemvor, uh... Kelemvor, yes, it's, he's the god of the... Do you know that in the city, we're not worshipping him or his coins that you put on the fucking body? That doesn't mean he's, it's, it's a pagan ritual. It's, it's a pagan ritual! I hear you. What about you, Steve? Do you think so? No one answers. <laughs> uh, I love him. <laughs> uh, he looks towards the left. And he discovers... Your character, actually. Uh, you see, sitting on the chair with his hands uh, bound, uh, this very young adult. Uh, the um, difference between uh, adolescent and young uh, adult is very thin. A uh, beautiful uh, slender figure, uh, very thin, uh, delicate and soft, uh, roasted skin, white hair that is caught in a bun. Uh, you, those that are close to him, or even the whole carriage smells of rose and lavender, a very powerful smell. Uh, golden eyes that as if they look at you they just entrance you um, full lips that usually turn into a devilish smile beautiful e earrings that cover the whole ear um, and a beautiful thin satin shirt and leather tights on him he looks around and says this is quite the predicament I find myself in hello right hello um, this is Angela's leaf 
Let me help you there, Leveilleur. Well, you know what? Like, Lev, I'm going to call you Angelus Lev or something. Um, so it says here, you stole something, a precious artifact that's called the Wither Life Gem. Oh, no, it's Winter Life. Sorry, Winter Life Gem? And you also committed adultery with another woman's man? Now, the second one, it's true. The first <laughs> one... <laughs> I mean, you're very pretty, you know. Yeah. Does he, did he confuse you as a woman or what? I cannot say that. But hey, we can talk this in private if you want. You just have to uh, release these uh, bindings and we can talk uh, in private. Sure I will. I'm not scared of you, I won't. No, you shouldn't. That's scary. Can I roll insight? <laughs> uh, yes, please. Okay, let me On go. Michael or on... Uh, on and be scared of... Yeah, sure, please. Ooh, okay. Hang on. He's scared of fighting. Skills. There we go. Insight. <laughs> That's a thirteen. Excellent. With the thirteen, you know, you you see that he's nervous. He's shaking. He he has sweat under his armpits. His eye eye brow is dripping sweat, and you have the feeling, more of a hint, more of a gut, as you saw this uh, happening also in the pirate life, that this might be very well the first day on his job. Yeah, come on, what's gonna ask that? Um, cool. <laughs> it says here, uh, it says here that we have two more in, three more inmates. What about you? And he turns towards you. Uh, Before I respond to him, can I uh, try and peek above his shoulder and see what's outside of the carriage? Maybe how many guards yeah. there may be around? Yep. Sure, uh, roll perception? Uh, you roll me. Do you want him to notice you that you are no, peeking? I don't care if he notices me. Okay, perception just. Okay. I rolled a 24. Okay, with the 24, you see... Uh, wait, wait, wait. You see... Uh, oh, sorry, 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 I rolled a 30. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's uh, the massive procedure I was checking. I rolled a 14. Well, okay, so with a 14, you see on the side, on the one side that the carriage has, one barred window, you see about 15 guards just on that side with three dog hounds. 15 guards with three dog hounds. Each? No, it's free in total, oh, just on that side. Some are on, some are armored, some are lieutenants, some has, have heavily armored, some are in the front, some are like playing drums, I don't know. Okay. As his eyes rest on me, uh, he sees a sickly looking individual, fairly tall. Uh, his skin would have been olive if it weren't so yellow. Uh, however, uh, he does notice the finest t-shirt he has ever seen. It's so fine that in the various types of light that shine through, it, you can see it change color. You can see that he has a very fine pair of pants woven with golden thread and the finest boots he's ever seen. The whole outfit from him from head to toe looks dapper. Um, and he has, other, other than that, uh, plain brown hair and plain brown eyes. So. Sir, it says your name is Giovanni Giorgio, right? It's the great Giovanni Giorgio, do you care? So, the great Giovanni Giorgio, right? Yes. Um, I want to ask you something. You can ask me anything. Where did you get those boots? I made them myself. Really? Yes. I am to, the fact is, uh, I will be the greatest tailor this land has ever seen, and I'm here uh, as, the, as an inconvenience. Sure, uh, so you're not here because you killed your father because you were jealous on him and his new business and his property? Sir, I have already surpassed my father and his uh, so-called prodigy, and if he were to die, he would have died out of pure shame upon seeing this great fucking outfit. I mean... Okay, right. It's it's a little bit justified. I, I see for where you're coming. I see your talent. How much for the boots? Mm. If uh, if you are worthy, I will make them for you for two coppers and uh, my freedom. No. <laughs> <laughs> it was worth the shot. I have to do right by my mum. She got me. I can make an outfit as well. He thinks, no, <laughs> he thinks a little bit. Uh, then, you see in the, in the back side of the carriage, hide behind shadows, two more figures. 
you see a fairly old man, very rotund, big bushy beard, dressed in fine clothes, perhaps more fanciful than that guy over there. Doubtful. A <laughs> giant gold necklace adorns his neck with an amulet that has a pastry in it and reads, there be family pastries. He's terrified. Now, sir, you must believe me, I did nothing wrong. I can pay you in money if you want. I did nothing. I am completely innocent. To be honest, Mr. Elgeron Derby, right? Um, yes. It says here you scam your brother and stole his recipe book. Oh. It's, I mean, I'm not very good. Maybe with the tumor errors over there and um, fat, he, he's dressed fashionable. It's fine. And I, I understand he's pretty. You you exploded some shit, uh, but I'm um, I'm not scared of you. But, 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 but I didn't stole his book. He, you wanna steal my recipe book as well? He stole my book after I stole it from him. It's. I think you just confessed. Right. Yeah. No, I did not. I don't have a book. You can search me. This is outrageous. Yeah, well, I don't have my weapons either, so... Your weapons are, you know, what? your weapons are stored very nicely underneath your bench that you're sitting on. Like, for example, I read about some science fiction shit, and they proclaim that in a land far away they might have aeroplanes, something like birds that people travel in and put their, sorry, and put their books, <laughs> their their stuff underneath their, their benches. So this is how to settle them. Fascinating. You're so interesting. I would like to know more. Um, I, I look down. <laughs> are my pans, uh, forks and knives still there? Yeah. <laughs> just... Those instruments are amazing. Um, right. Um, would you mind uncuffing me? What about you, Dewey? And he points towards the end of the carriage. And now, for the first time, because you didn't really pay attention to each other, you see a strange-looking elf of green coloration carrying a lute that has etched on it, Gehet me. She has curiously long ears, even longer than yourselves. And she is dressed in a floral attire that resembles and embodies the feeling of spring. He says, Right, your name is Gehetme, right? Um, and Gehetme. And you look at the strange elf, and he proceeds reading the, the paper. But your head may start, oh no, please, please, so please, I just want to go home. Like, please, untie me. I don't want to go to prison. I don't want to go to die. I just, I just sing a song and maybe offend a few people, but I do not deserve to be here. Please, so. What do you guys do? I comment on how unfashionable this elf is begging. I would like to roll insight to see if she's like. Yes. Playing it up. And you can also roll a bit of perception. In, insight or perception or both? Both. Ooh, okay, this is going to be insight. <laughs> That's a you nine. can also, uh, no. we're going to go Seven. one by one. You know what? You said you're going to comment. We go Ooh. with blood. Uh, perception is awesome. Perception. Perception. Okay. You want to proceed. A seven for insight, but a 17 for perception. Okay, seven for insight. She is generally scared. She has a bit of a tear in, in her eye. Um, but because Michael seems also scared, <laughs> you can't really discern if she's faking, being more scared than him, or if she's actually scared. Perception? 25. Uh, it was like 19, I think it was. Okay. Uh, no, so, 17. So with this perception, you see uh, that this elf is dressed completely out of the box for this realm. It has a lot of nature embroidered into their fashion, but even not embroidered, it feels like the nature grew around her and dressed her intimate parts. And uh, she has a, a, a golden necklace that dangles and has a strange language um, inscribed into it. With a 25 now, Sam, <laughs> you notice two things. The golden necklace, is made of a gold so pure you have never saw this in your life 
You have read about it, though. It might be the purest gold that comes directly from heavens. And on it, it's a language that at you, you for a first glance, you don't understand it. But on a second one, something innate from you, maybe from your bloodline, just makes and mingles the letters and you can discern gates to the purgatory. I, uh, and yep. second thing, okay. you notice this. Sort of faint shape somewhere. You can't really tell from where it's coming. So this is your round. What else? I would like to comment to the guard, and I will try to persuade him to let me, because I'm innocent, and the lady go away. Okay, your plan is this. What about you guys? Uh, would I roll a history or uh, to see if I heard of this uh, woman in the noble circles or something like okay, that? Okay, you roll me a history. Could I roll maybe perhaps no, Do not tell me rolls. Tell okay. me what you okay. want to do. I want to see if I recognize or figure out what she is. Like Nature. Nature. And you have advantage on that and I will tell you why. Alright. Afterwards. Ten. No, it doesn't ring a bell. Uh, Ler, uh, sorry, uh, sorry, not Ler, it's uh, Algeron. Uh, be prepared to beg in yep. a second. What is it? <laughs> I'm most prepared 13. to beg. So with the 13, you look with both eyes. Not a hint, but at, at the point you close one quicker than the other and with your weird eye that is full sclera black and a bit of a hint of, of green inside the iris, for a second you see a strange color for a glimpse of a second. And then you realize that uh, you have been commented on your your eye for a while now because it's weird and you know. And some of some of the people said that it might be due to a conjunction with another plane, the Fey Realm. The strange write writing, do I recognize it as yes. Sylvan? Yes, you do. And there's another one, and I have to remember who uh, knows Sylvan as well, is uh, Angelus as well. Yes. Uh, you two recognize uh, the thing etched into the, the um, uh, golden medallion that she is carrying, the gates to purgatory. Oops. And also Gehet May on the loot that has, you know, um, Sylvan lettering. Is it a religious symbol? So, beg! <laughs> uh, Mr. Uh, Michael, I, I think you're new. Um, you're one with a book, right? Uh, yes. Oh. Uh, how would you... Uh, I, uh, my, would you mind if I'll give you 50 gold pieces to leave me and this woman? Because she's innocent, I think. Uh, go. Persuasion. I mean, you haven't done much. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. 14. No, Wait. actually 13. Sorry. 13. Uh, you know, maybe on a break. Maybe on a break. Um, can I also comment on the quality of her clothes? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> I would like first to observe the clothes, and then I would like to make a snarky comment. Please. They're all perception to observe the quality. Yeah. Yes. For then a you can add your proficiency bonus since you're. Uh... If you're not proficient, I, I am. I'm an expert. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have rolled a fourteen for the check on her clothes. Okay, her clothes are definitely not so. You see no traces of um, string or uh, I don't know the the words, but or material or anything. They look like the floral attire just grew on on okay. her. Then I would like to comment on her, telling her for uh, how good of a tailor, the man that, or the woman that the rescue has been, you are not doing their clothes very much justice. They are very, how do I say this, uh, not stylish. <laughs> they just grow on me. Well, like they do on every, on every Aladrin there is in Feywild. I have no idea what this is, but I know what I've told you, and you're not being stylish. 
Yeah. Of course. I want to go home to the fair realm. And I think maybe that can be also good for you. If you're... What? What did you say? Uh, she said that uh, uh, you're okay. You're the best guard ever. That's what she said. My brother. My my brother. My brother. You're doing great. <laughs> you'll get promoted for this one. Yeah. My mom really hopes so. I didn't want to take this job, but you know, gotta get my mom happy. <laughs> I love his boy. Very nice. Very oh, nice. Um, I want to talk to the headmate. And, um, She's there. What yeah. do you want to say to her? Say, uh, listen, I, I've heard you want to sing. Right? I, I'm, a, I'm a musician as well. We Maybe we can sing together. I, I feel like we... Oh. How do you want to sing with just bound? Do you want to escape or not? Of course, but do you have a means of escape? From yes. Here? We just hope something happens. Okay, uh, perfect. Oh, wow. <laughs> perfect. I feel like... Did you read that book, Alice in uh, Wonderland? Oh, <laughs> that, that's how I feel really like... helps. What? If you're kind people, you get what you deserve. Oh, trust me, honey. I hope so many years for a better life. You know what? Happen. Let's just hope together. <sighs> I'm not sure I consent to this. Um, my wrist tight. My like, as well. do I have like handcuffs or anything on? It's uh, just ropes bending your, um, bonding your arms together. It's a um, what's it called? It's a uh, it's a bond. Um, bondage. Bond? No. Yes. Not yes. sort of a bondage. <laughs> um, and a handcuff. Not handcuffs. Yeah, I know the. Yeah. So while they're doing this, could I be carefully trying to undo the knots? Definitely. Yeah. You can, you can <laughs> roll me like, a sleight of hand for that. And so it begins. So you think you you find a, a loophole and then you just pull even tighter and bond your bonds even tighter and now your DC is a bit higher. I'm gonna try it again. Okay, let's, let's go. No. <laughs> How much was it? It's below five. Uh, it's a nine if I add my modifier. Okay, it's cool then. It's cool. It's cool. I, I also want to try to, uh, because I have uh, big incisors, I want to uh, stealthily uh, chew away the rope. Okay, uh, please, I don't know what to, uh, it's improvised. You know, give me a strength. The strength of your teeth will do. <laughs> <laughs> While we're escaping, is the girl currently observing us? Yeah, he's looking, but um, you can give me an insight. Let's go, let's do this. 11. Like, you think you're chewing, chewing, making progress, but um, you're chewing, your teeth start to hurt. It's not there yet. <laughs> um, can I do something? Yeah. I will, uh, I, uh, Angeles will call to Michael and he will look him in the eyes and say, Michael, please, we've been friends for so long, could you just untie these? And I cast Charm Person on him. Okay, mm. so what's the DC? The DC is 12. <laughs> Wow, I'm not cheating you guys, and you all know that I roll very good. It's natural training. Yeah. <laughs> First roll of the campaign. I'm not cheating. This is it. Uh, here we go. <laughs> I think I'm gonna roll in front of the camera, so you don't, you don't, you know, so you don't think I'm like cheating. I just feel the spell fizzing. I'm like. <sighs> so what happens is, Michael is looking at you and you're trying to charm him but he's being very dis distracted not by your face but by your body <laughs> <laughs> eyes up here my oh, eyes up here <laughs> right i was looking up no what? definitely yes. i was looking up not down right Damn it. um and your head mate just sits and don't worry guys it's just hope and the door's still open the what? Like, so the door is closed. It's closed, okay. But you start, you, that you rolled the 25 a while ago, right? Yep. Perception. <laughs> what the fuck was that? You hear like a monstrous sound coming from the distance, and you hear also some panic. What the fuck is that? You hear from the barred window that it is. That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> that and is... for a flash of light, something goes be 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 for the barred the window. 
and you can see something very strange. Perception. Oh, wow, that's four. Oh. 23. <laughs> 23. Who has above a 12? Got 14. 26. 14? No, 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 no. Okay, Seven. 14. With the 14, and you guys witness something very huge. Homunculus was just uh, uh, barging uh, in front of the, the, um, the bar door, the bar window, sorry. You notice a strange coloration you have never seen before. And you guys, all three of you, can see how much again? 24. 24. 26. Okay, you also see clearly this strange coloration. You see that it has a color you have never seen before. It's a fluorescent greenish yellow purple. It's an eighth color. And you can't really describe it, but it exists. Just whooshing before your eyes. And you two get the chance to look at its physicality. And you see that Uturim resembles a lot a troll. So, the uh, outside of this uh, carriage, a battle is starting. What do you guys do? And you hear guards, oh my god, what is that? <laughs> Is, Smashes! Is there any sort of fire or a lamp in the, in the carriage? I'm gonna roll a percentile. You know what? Let's see. 96, definitely. Right. <laughs> then I'm gonna use control flames while extending my hands in order to move the flame and light up my the rope. Okay, you can, uh, you know what, do you want to be noticed or not? Well, the battle is raging and Michael there is not a threat. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So your uh, rope caught fire and you're gonna have to wait a, a second, but you are getting out of here. Getting also a little bit burned. <laughs> do I take any damage or...? You know what, I'm gonna roll again a percent I'll die. 22, yes, you take one HP of damage. All right. Okay, so while your friend, uh, uh, while your friend Dendro is doing this, what are you guys doing? Michael, if I die here, I swear to God, open these handcuffs now. But, uh, do you know? Uh, Michael, we can help you. No, that's a natural one. Oh, no. <laughs> really great. Again, Michael is distracted after. Oh, fuck. He's Our looking at your body. Is, I'm gonna have a quick peek under the seat. Our office is actually there. Oh, okay. I'm so gonna. So foolish of this guard. So I want to very just... untrained. Michael, maybe. I, have, have, I just have... want to grab one of my daggers and just. <laughs> oh. Okay. Hold uh, it behind, between my boots. I'm like. <laughs> Okay, let's see if you grab it. Roll me a dexterity. Dexter, just a general dex? Dex, dex general Okay. Dex. Let's try my tiny dice. Don't disappoint me. 14. Cool. With the 14, even with your higher DC now, you barely manage. And you you try, you 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 fight a little bit, it slips, and then you catch it, but in the end. You're on tight. Alright. I'm just gonna like grab my weapons, daggers, daggers, sword. Like. <laughs> so you're equip equipping your soul. Basically, yes. And the the backpack, do you take it as well? Yeah, I'll just grab all my stuff and just... I'm not sticking around. Let's try and open this door. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm seeing this and I'm uh, asking her, uh, uh, Seren, right? Uh, can, can you untie me as well? Please? Yes. And then, dagger. Thank you. Then I grab my stuff. You grab Anyone stuff. else? I will take my pan from under the bench. I will vent. Then I will say, This came over, man. Roll me a dex to see if you manage to oh, get right. your pan out of underneath your seat with your hands. Right? <laughs> it's an 11. It's an 11. No, oh, I'm sorry, sir. You manage. You manage. You almost manage. You think you maybe you can use the... the, the, the no, no, I just want to grab it. Not yeah, you want to grab, grab it, but it slips. It was 12. No, my family heirloom! 
and I would like you to mm -hmm. attain me as well, please. Yeah, I'll just anyone who. Thanks. As as she unties me, I go underneath my uh, seat and I grab my uh, needles, my cobbler's tools, my weaver's tools, and the rest of my clothes. They are fashionable. All of them. And they look wonderful. Um, by now, uh, Dendro, Dendro, sorry, Dendro, you got also your fee. Uh, and uh, uh, Angelus, tell me what you're doing, and also well, Gehenme, uh, is like... Um, Ser Serene, right? Serene uh, died Sorry, yeah. with her, uh, and I took my rapier, and you see this strange uh, rock that looks like a crystal, but it's black, that is just floating in his arm as he's holding the rapier, in one hand he's holding the uh, rock that is slowly left, that in his hand he's putting back. Okay, uh, how do we get out? Let's just uh, move. Wait a second, did you just untie yourself? <laughs> I didn't. Did I ever? Does the murderers and this? I mean, you're in. I'm a dream. I am not a murderer. <laughs> I. I think the temporary would turn my him, <laughs> try to catch his eyes, <laughs> and focus on him with my strange eye, and I'm gonna look at him and see. Nature commands you. Bravo. Command. Okay. Wisdom. Wisdom. How much? Uh, this is 14. It doesn't look that way. It's a bit under, it's 13, so he tries to resist it and then he falls on the, pro uh, the floor. Uh, is the door locked? You don't know. Uh, can I go to the door? Uh, can Angelus go to the door and see if it's locked? You can go, Angelus, to the door and check it, it's not locked. Okay. <laughs> but what, what about me? Just, uh, sir, with your beautiful attire, can you? Please. Thank you, thank you. This kind lady. I know she unlocked you, but I still have the beautiful attire. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do indeed. Good. Quick, we have to be very smart about it because outside, and you all look outside, the guards, some of them are dying. Oh, wounded, and the troll is gashing wounds, but he's also taking damage. You see, open flesh. And the strange coloration, liquid, a strange coloration of a liquid is just uh, dripping from there. Um, what do you guys do? I would like to check whether I have uh, enough proficiency with my weaver's tools to know whether I could use that color in my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You roll me, uh, you roll me um, intelligence and add your uh, proficiency bonus. It's a seven. Oh wow! <laughs> Legendary. There might be a way, but you don't know exactly. Like where there's colors, there's a way. But uh. <laughs> could I look at? I guess the battle is going on, and just try and find a safe way away from the battle. Uh, Gehetme is uh, seeing this, and she says, "Come, we can go up over there." And she's she's pointing towards in the distance. You fancy where? I'll grab her arm and I'm like, okay, come with me. Okay, let's run, I guess. Ready? Wait a second. Why are we that way, guys? Uh, uh, is there any uh, dead soldier over there? Uh, you can, if you look over the, the window, you see a lot of dead soldiers. Earlier on that side, there were um, 25 guards. Now they're 50, but not all 50 alive. You see uh, one of the six dogs already dead, and at least 10 wounded soldiers and three dead. Uh, is there any dead soldier that's uh, further apart from the group? Let's see. That's another one! Damn. It's a 41, no. Okay, then I follow them. So, yeah, they start I... to run. Gehetme with uh, uh, Ser Ser Saren. 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 They start running. I take my stuff and my equipment and go after them. Okay. I follow them as well. Okay, with your equipment. What are the same, I, I run, I'm not even looking at my equipment. I'm... <laughs> fuck that! <laughs> I'm a man! So you leave your pants yeah. and stuff? Yeah. Are you sure? I'm definitely sure, although it hurts. Survival is more important. Okay, he leaves his pants behind and everything, his heirlooms. Oh my god, oh my. About, about 12 feet <laughs> forward, I'm like... <laughs> Could you? <laughs> what 
What is Quartiel? What? Okay, let's just run. And what about you guys? I look at Michael. I say, uh, you're kind to me. I shall help you escape. And you may tell stories of me and this uh, group to your children. Yeah, come on. <laughs> the the English. English. I, I grab his hand uh, and then we start running. He runs, but at a point he just pulls his hand and says, and turns on, he doesn't say anything, he turns around and he says, screams, Mommy! Why did you make me get into this job? And he starts running in the opposite direction. I would like to attempt to calm him and. Okay. So you run in the opposite direction, trying to come. I just scream after him. You're going to die, Michael! <laughs> <laughs> oh, flip no! Squash. <laughs> Squash. Let's see if he gets back by the troll. No. He doesn't. I really wanted to. <laughs> uh, so he runs. The headmate with Saren, they are in the lead, running. What do you guys do? You're after. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Angelus uh, will uh, look around and head towards the Gehetme. If there are any dead guards on the ground, he will uh, quickly, uh, as he's running, go down and pick the pouches of gold if there are. They are dead guards on the ground, but yeah. closer, let's say like this. This is yeah. the, the carriage. Yeah. This is the door that you yeah. escape from. This is the battle of the troll happening. Yeah. This is Michael running in the other okay. direction, and you're running like oh, this. Okay, so there Do you want to come? No, no, no. If there are any guards in the direction Gehetme is running. No. No, there, there are no. Okay. But you well, know what's in the direction that Gehetme is running? A dragon. Puffy clouds gathering and then going black and darker and darker and then heavy rain starts pouring. Oh, perfect. <laughs> this is gonna help. Yeah, this is gonna start. Heavy rain starts pouring and you start running. I will in, run in. In the rain. Uh, sorry, not the. I'm gonna put this. So you start running. Uh, and heavy rain starts pouring. What are you doing, Dendro? And uh, Giovanni, I'm curious, and also um, Algernon. Algernon. I keep on running, and I do not even seem to realize that it's raining. Okay. Because uh, I'm really sweet. As I run, I want to take up closer look at the clouds and see if I find anything peculiar with them, unnatural or... Arcane or nature check, whatever you prefer. Uh, they're the same, basically. I mean... Uh, like, my bonus is the same, I don't have proficiency in either, so... Uh, nine. Nine as well, <laughs> but in German. So you're running, you hear in the back, Wait, they're escaping! It's another guard with chumpy one, and he's he's pointing towards you. So the, the line is like this. It's Saren with Gehetme holding her hand. Then is, uh, uh, once a Gorin, and then is, uh, I don't know what you are doing, Diandro and Adi, uh, Diandro, Angelus, and at the end, closing the rear, is Giovanni and Algernon. What do you guys do? You're the closest to the guards. We are coming for us. I ran very fast. I don't know what to do. So you start running. And I remain behind. Very fast and surpass everyone. No, I will uh, help uh, the poor, uh, poor slob. Uh, if need be, I will uh, drag him. But uh, you need to tell me if there will be need of that for. Um. So how much is your speed? <laughs> Uh, let me check. Let me uh, check also. 30 feet. Okay, it's fine. So oh, you yeah. start running. He's a bit, he doesn't have the condition, but he manages because now the troll is after the guards who are after you and the hounds run very fast. And, <laughs> and they're running and running and running and chasing you and it's a big conga line. It's Gehetme and Saran and Gorin and then Dendro and then uh, Angelo and then Giovanni pulling you with his might is worse. I and can fool him by might. <laughs> <laughs> Pulling you with his sword. Come on, what, what, how do you encourage him? Well, if uh, I can, if I see him dragging a hand, yeah. I will call a little bit of a lead. But I need to know if it is the case. Are you dragging a little bit? Just a little bit, not enough. I have uh, 40 feet speed. 
Okay. It has 30, so I will, uh, at a certain point, I will stop and I will utter the words, comfort my muse, sharp dressed man, and you will see that a uh, silhouette appears next to me, as of a uh, very tall man, uh, wearing nothing but tights and a helmet on his, on his head. He picks you up and starts running. You can see that at each point, both uh, Giovanni and the man are standing uh, five feet next to each other, but you are being dragged, you are being carried by the man. Oh my, that's <laughs> unexpected. <laughs> Why? Oh my, you're looking feisty. But I'm the famous. dogs are behind you. <laughs> and you're, you're seeing, you're approaching because the headmate is directing you. Uh, one second, one second. Um, Gehetme is uh, directing you through the rain as the guards are coming closely and the troll is uh, is uh, trailing behind you. You sprint and you notice like this small crevice concealed by shrubs and bushes. And you run and Gehetme at the point is just peeking and dragging you behind them, okay. behind the shrubs and bushes. You're but the others, the others, the others, because Gehetme is holding your hand and you are guided, you have your own perception to know where you're going. <laughs> because you can't see rain is pouring in your eyes. I'm sorry, guys. Do I need to uh, roll because I'm carried? N no. <laughs> uh, you can guide him, you can yeah, give him advantage. I, 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 passive I, perception is 16. You roll me again because it's not passive, it's active <laughs> ring in your eyes. Alright, eight. Eight. So, you're next, and you're missing the spot. You're going forward and the jo dogs are chasing you. And can I whistle if I see yeah. him going too far? How do you whistle? Do I have to whistle? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just seeing if I can do this. Oh, it's that way, okay. <laughs> Sorry for running towards So, them. you find very hard, like rain is pouring in your bunny eyes, they're red, it's very hard if to see. If he comes close enough, I'll also just grab him by the back of his, like... Not the tail, not the ears, I was thinking uh, the back of your clothes, <laughs> like just drag you in. Okay, thank you. You're <laughs> next. 18? On the perception. So you easily see, like, the bunny missing the spot and be turning around. He, he's not wide, but he's uh, standing with his uh, his big ears. You can see him. How in far distance. are they? Um, uh, approximately 15 feet. Approximately 15 feet. I turn to them this way. Um, okay. okay, so you go there. You might add advantage if you oh, thank God. If you, <laughs> thank God. You hear uh, the the you hear the elf, the strange elf with the weird eye yelling this way. Oh, that's thirteen. Thirteen. Thirteen barely, barely, barely misses. Wow. <laughs> oh. So you run and you you feel that is in a direction, but you stumble on other shrubs and stuff. You see this scene. Okay. Can I uh, give him the last one? Can I direct him? Yeah, how much do you have? <laughs> yeah, yes, sir. Uh, please tell me how you solved the situation. Well, as I see uh, the elf moving to the wrong direction, I uh, have my characterist man throw up the Algernon. Algernon, Algernon will fall on me, and uh, the sharpest man will just move five feet in front and turn him in the other direction. <laughs> this is a sharp dressed man that is... How, how is his skin? He looks phantomatic or like a real he person? He looks a bit phantomatic, but of uh, an olive color similar to uh, to Giovanni's. Okay, so it's this sharp dressed man that pushes you in a different direction and you see like Algernon being tossed over to Giovanni and they are entering. This is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my hip! Then the, the man with the sharp, this man will grab Algernon back because I, I cannot carry him. <laughs> Alger, uh, the sharp dressed man is picking up Algernon. But you see the facial punches left and right and left and right and killing and distracting the guards, but he's after you. He surpasses the guards. Coming directly, directly to the bush. You're all in, but it's directly towards the concealed hiding place. He comes in front, he turns away with his hind, and he rubs his hind against the entrance, and he says, bad! And he runs in the other direction. Guard! After him. What? 
episode. No, I'm, I'm not repeating again. <laughs> but the gist of it is the troll came towards your direction, yes. rubbed his hand, said something, and ran away, oh, no. and the guards followed him. This, so you air change like the smell of it. <laughs> so I'm also wondering. Not, not, not really, not from the, the troll's direction, but from inside. There's something magical happening. May I ask something? Yes, please. As the troll grabs his hindsight on the bush, may I try to grab a bit of that uh, strange color substance? Let's Shit. see if he left some uh, strange blood, let's see. You have to beat a 50. It's an 81. Yeah, definitely. You find uh, about, uh, uh, let's say, two full uh, clasps of hand of uh, blood. Good. I empty my water bottle and I put blood in it. Good Ow. decision. Always a good decision. <laughs> so, as you enter, Inside you see a cave of remarkable beauty. The walls shimmer with precious minerals and their ancient stone walls opening before you. They're carved inside. Heavy door stands open and revealing the wall ahead with a riddle inscribed in a strange language that you you and you can understand. Can I uh, speak it out loud so everybody can hear it? Yeah. But you have to repeat after me if you want to speak it out loud. Okay. It says, If you find yourself alone and you yearn to go back home, be you true or a deceiver, plant a seed under the river for the flower that will sprout opens access for your route. Let's <laughs> repeat that. Thank you much. If you find yourself alone and you yearn to go back home, be you sure a deceiver plant a seed beneath the river for the flower that will sprout opens access for your route. Yeah, that's what I say in common. I take mental damage. <laughs> <laughs> I look towards the head. Is the head me with us? Yes. Oh. And you also sense this. You sense a powerful arcane energy. <laughs> vibrations like sort of a heart pulsating and whatever this means it eludes you and if you push behind the doors there's something calling for you uh, miss get me what yes. does that mean it's the way to go back home is for creatures like me to go back home to the fey realm I'm sorry, you just like you? Yes, I'm a, I'm a fae. A I'm an, I'm an Aladrin. You know those books that you... If they have not prime... books about tailoring, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> when you were a little boy, did your mom or father read something to you? Books about tailoring? Oh, <laughs> she, she smiles a little bit. Uh, listen, get me, get me. I, I, earlier in the carriage, I, I felt like you, I was drawn to you in some way. Uh, there was something like... Yeah, because your kind is not from here. Yes, we're, we're not from here, but I, I've noticed your, your necklace. Is it, do you have any connection to the purgatory? Oh, this is a knickknack that I collected. But um, this necklace gets access to the purgatory, it's like a gate, but it only fits one hand. One hand only? Yeah, to get something from it. Did you use it before? No. Why not? I don't have anything there. So how can you... can you send something there? Definitely. I think. Can you <laughs> Can you put your head inside? If it's a small like, hat. No, a head. A hat? A head. 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 head, yeah, if it's a small hat. Okay, so you could peek in the forgetter. You can, I think you can even peek without putting your whole yeah, head in. I, I don't know, I haven't used it. But why are you interested? Mm -hmm. I have someone there. I would 
if, if that's possible to you. Is I'm, it a flower? Uh, you, yeah, in a way, yes, you, you've sensed her. Flower, like a sort of a gentle flower, like, like a daisy. Yeah, her, her name is Daisy. She's my sister. Okay. Um, we have access to that sort of magic in the Fey realm. So if we, it's, if we go to you, to your home, to, can we, can I get there? If you want, then you want me to help, I mean, you want to help me um, decipher this riddle and go? Sure. I mean, if you just, I mean, if you want to. Yeah, I'd like to speak to her again, see her again. Oh, okay. Very beautiful. I really like the pair of you two. I want to go home. I don't want to go to the thing. Could you get me home? You can go backwards. Yes. That Do you have like a teleportation in the Fey Realm? Like, could you teleport me somewhere if I want to? Do you have friends that can do that there? No, but I was thinking maybe you all need just to a place to lay back for a while. So, uh, may I ask why wouldn't we go to this Fey Realm? You seem to know a lot more about it than I do. Well, from what I read from the books that my um, father used to read to me before, um, the fair realm is a pretty tricky place where time must uh, be swapped. There can That's be. That's not true. We have laws, and everybody respect the laws. Are you have flowers that scream. How is that normal? Because if one? you hurt them, they scream. How is not normal to just have so much power over a flower? You know what? I'm not entering this discussion. <laughs> Do you have pastry shops in uh, at the Fey West? I doubt it. <laughs> I will go only to check them. Not, not for. I mean, days. only if you want to help me. You can also just help me and go back. There's also that option. If you're not interested. I mean, I need to lay low for a little while, so I'm down with this, but I... We'll see how it goes, I guess. Okay. I so... I don't want to be exploding things, though. For, <laughs> for a druid and a cleric, like, for a druid or a cleric like me, it would be a amazing occasion to see the Feywild. Also... You know, your left eye is from us. Is it? It's then, like, interesting, what did you say? No, <laughs> is it? Is then, it? I've seen this sort of eye in the Unseely court. I am then mo even more eager to go with you and perhaps learn more about this. And I kind of put my hand over it. The only one who is on shore is you. Oh, no, I'm, I'm with him. I'm with him. I think no, I'm not you. Home. Not you, Giovanni Giorgio. You. Angelo. I have uh, someone that I care for and might be searching for me if I lay low too long and I do not wish to anger him. That is why my mind is... Um, but sure, I will tag along. As you said, I can help you and then get out and uh, stop okay. playing long. I don't you know, want particularly to go, but since all of you are going, I don't particularly you like You can being also alone. make up your mind when when the portal is opened. Like, you can always come or... Sure, we, we think of the we fashions you might be able to see. Yeah. What? Think of the fashions you might be able to see. Sure, they can the, the, truth is, the truth is that in the fair realm it's crazy. You That's can get crazy. inspired. Yeah, you definitely could. I mean, I could inspire people. <laughs> of course, you could inspire a fine, fine. If they you need inspiring, such inspiring, how could I do that? Honestly, they do need inspiration. Thank you. Thank you. So, should we move forward? <laughs> Yes. yes. After you. So behind the door, you find yourselves in an open space. Minerals on the walls are ex exceptionally bright and pure and beautiful, and create this sort of reflecting glass <laughs> surfaces throughout the room. And it's an aura of arcane energy, and it's stronger than even before. And it envelops this. 
in a mystical presence. There is sort of a melodic hum, and you f it fills the air with the sense of wonder. And this is an experience like unlike any you have ever experienced before. And in the center of the chamber, you see a glassy rock that closely resembles an oversized gem. It shimmers its beauty and captures your attention. To the left, there's, there's a waterfall that graces the surroundings and adds this stage of touch of nature splendor. And in the right, there's a tree with broken branches that used to have better days. But on top of this peculiar tree, you see free fruits like an oversized mango of the same strange coloration that some of you might have witnessed before. It's the same fluorescent greenish yellow purple light. And some of you see it for the first time. So some of the branches, the lower ones, appear to be damaged very hard. What do you do? Would you mind repeating the riddle, please? I try to repeat the, to them. I, I hear him uh, oh, muttering yeah. about uh, the, the something the, about trees and seeds. Uh, yeah, what was it? Uh, yeah. If you wanna something, if you wanna something something home, yeah. go back home. Uh, something something seeds, right, uh, but I don't yeah. remember exactly. Uh, then it was uh, plant your uh, seed uh, beneath the river, uh, and uh, it, it will sprout. The uh, seed and uh, I don't. I have a better memory for songs, not for. Uh, is the sound uh, some uh, sky looking different here? Like it has a different color. You're in a cave. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm in a cave. Yes. Yeah. I forgot one. Uh, <laughs> uh, so it says, if you find yourself alone and you yearn to go back home. Be you sure the deceiver, plant a seed under the river for the flower that will sprout opens access for your route. The sky mm -hmm. is not visible, you're in a cave. Mm -hmm. Are there any flowers around or is this like the only real no, plant? No, this is the only things that you can see. The walls, the waterfall, the tree and the glassy. You know what, give me a perception. And the glassy and the glassy rock in the center. The glassy rock resembles a seed? No, it no, looks I, like an oversized big great. rock. Roll the four. I, sorry. My perception okay. is way higher though. I want to approach the tree, mm -hmm. put my hand on it, mutter a small prayer in druidic, and then I look at that oversized mango, um, could I easily climb the tree? You could. Uh, would the grappling hook help? Uh, overall, with the mechanics, sure, but are you sure as a druid you want to do that? <laughs> it's just oh easier God. to try. Yeah, sure, it's it. Do it, do it. Do it. <laughs> it's a practical are sure, druid. Are you sure you want to hurt the tree? Uh, I'm asking. Yeah, Everything I, has consequences. If I. Us. <laughs> if I'm uh, sure I can do it without hurting the tree, like breaking it or. Yeah, you can make a putty. I don't know the word in English. Uh, leverage. Leverage, yeah. Pivot. 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 How high the, is the mango? Uh, seven feet. Seven feet. I have a ten foot pole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can try to poke it. Yeah. Okay. Try to poke. As you try to poke it, and you're witnessing, like, uh, Dendra just split from the group, is going towards the tree, and you're poking it. You're hearing something. And you turn around and you see like this tree has a weird form and, and shape and from the branches that make strange shadows. <laughs> Two bulging guys. And you're mm -hmm. just witnessing there's a bond bulging like knob and resembles uh, a nose and it opens a mouth. And it says, oh, Are you after my friend? Better tell a story for it. Better tell a story, story for it. Oh, no. Honored one. My name is Dandro, and I am a druid. Me and my companions seek this fruit of yours in order to 
go to the free wild. We have an Aladrin with us. Each of us has been wrongly convicted of crimes we did not commit. We were heading <laughs> to our death when you have me. The Aladdin I earlier spoke of helped us escape and in return want to help her get back home. Oh. Performance. That's a nice story, right? That's all clap. <laughs> yes, yes. Clap. Nice story. Oh, very nice. Yeah, he had me claps in the back. Could I use guidance on myself before? Yes, that? and you can roll with advantage since you told the story. Uh, 13. So you know, in, in my world, disease matters and we have different thresholds. But with this threshold, you see one branch launching forward and almost touching your shoulder. But inside the branch, there's a mango, there's the oversized mango that is called the glimmer fruit. Glimmer fruit. Are the mangoes still up the tree? Two of them. This tree? Okay. One is in your hand. I take it. I bow towards the tree. He Thank starts you. bowing. I, w I mean, keep it doing takes that. takes a lot of time. Um, <laughs> how close are, like, uh, there's the cave uh, uh, roof, right? Mm -hmm. Are the branches of the tree closer to the uh, ceiling? The ceiling, like, if I would, um, just think uh, a theory, not. If I would go on the ceiling on, mm -hmm. on my feet and mm -hmm. tangle down, could I get the fruit? Yeah. Could I do that, please? Yes. Thank you. So, you just uh, see, <laughs> Angela just started walking on the... Like, and he's on the ceiling, she's like... Mm. <laughs> he's turning back from the bath, he's turning back. <laughs> Bad to tell a story for it! <laughs> Uh, with the, his head down. Once upon a time, there was a chicken that <laughs> laid uh, golden eggs, but one of the eggs wasn't golden, it was just covered in mustard powder, and then the farmer cooked it, and he had happy children. Performance. <laughs> with advantage. I love that story. <laughs> uh, that's a 15. Cool. Thank you. Oh, okay, since you're up, and you're I will give your friend. And he extends one hand, and he it looks like the branch is over your shoulder trying to harm you. And it sort of have uh, this impact on your shoulder, and it breaks. And it's a, this size of a, of, a, of a piece of a branch, and it looks awful like a staff. I take it and respect it. Nature or arcana? It's the same, <laughs> either way. <laughs> it matters, the intent matters. Uh, arcana. Not 20. Oh! You know exactly what it is and you remember a story. These this is a glimmer tree from the Feywild and they give travelers wonderful items and there was a story with a young boy who got a staff of flowers and it has a, had a picture that looked exactly like this. From the ceiling you hear, hey, you better give me that, it was my work. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me come down there. <laughs> you guys share. I'm going to rest. What do you guys do, the others, in the meantime? I want to go to Gehetme and uh, ask her, uh, do you, have you been here before? Do you know that your way home? Yes. So, how do we proceed? I mean, do you want to solve the riddle? Isn't it exciting? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you already know it, I mean... Yeah, but it's interesting to watch you do it. So you, <laughs> you'd rather watch us squirm, <laughs> trying to find <laughs> the... I mean... It's not squirming. Look, they already have a seed. And they point towards... Uh... No, we have two. No. This is a seed. What are you... Do you want to do something else? Uh, hearing this, I go to the tree and start knocking on the bark and, Hello, Mr. Tree! <laughs> <laughs> We're going to 
gonna go back to this in a second. Yeah. I would like to go and inspect the glass uh, or crystal like sphere. And I would try to deduce whether, given the fact that we don't particularly have a river, we kind of have to create an optical illusion of one. Investigation, wow. actually. Wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Is that investigation? I want to um, one. come and have a look at this thing as well, the, the big glass. And they grow up like, uh, the there as well. I have a nat yeah. one. Hmm? Nat there's a, one. There's a waterfall as well. You think, there? with that nat one, you yeah. think yeah. that you have to create an illusion with the waterfall behind. Like, frame it in such a way that it looks like a river. I'm you, um, gonna go waterfall instead. I would like to inform everyone of that in a dapper way, saying uh, we don't have the river. We can make one with our tears, or <laughs> we can just bury this nugget behind the, what seems to be a river made out of uh, the waterfall, the glass, and our dying hopes. You hear me? There's a <laughs> sort of a um, laugh. I'm gonna head over to the waterfall. Um, I would. So I just want to see, like, is there anything behind the waterfall? Where is the water coming from? Where is it going? Like, is so, it going to pool? Or is it a river that's, like, going under so the So the waterfall comes from atop mm -hmm. the, the the crevice that you're in, from a, from a hollow space that yeah. falls. Falls into a small lake. Mm -hmm. More of an oversized puddle, let's say, but with clear clear water. Mm -hmm. Coming back to you. So you knock. Yeah. <laughs> Big bulging eyes open it. Uh, hello, uh, hello, Mr. Tree. Uh, uh, sorry for disturbing you, but uh, could I also have one of the f uh, fruits and the seeds? You know what you have to do. Uh, yeah, yeah, a story. But w will will a uh, uh, limerick do? Yeah. <laughs> I, I grab my loot from in, from inside my uh, my uh, satchel and uh, I, I'm uh, touching the the cords and uh, starting to say um, there was a young girl named Daisy. Her brother's past was a bit hazy. With glimmers of hope, he strung like a rope and tried to save her from the purgatory. She is the realm of the shadows. She fell at the touch of the arrows, but now, like her rocks, between, before the thieving fox would claim her soul to the from the eternal meadows. You go ahead and roll me a performance and add the plus with advantage and add the plus five. Mm. I got this great. Mm. <laughs> Uh, 24. Ooh. He launches forward the last uh, branch with the last mango tree. He puts it in, in, in your hands. And also, one of the um, tips of the branches splits in two, and you have a wand. So, or something that looks like a wand. It's the wand of the middle finger. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> And I uh, roll arcana to see what yes. uh, kind of... or nature. I mean, arcana. Oh, arcana. Oh. Natural 20 plus 4, 24. <laughs> you know exactly what it is. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, he had the same you, book. Had, you had also a, a, a storybook. <laughs> Your parents had the storybook. Their pa his, his parents actually come from the Feywild. Oh. With something, and you remember this, it's the same story that uh, <laughs> that your um, uh, father used to see. And one of the other magical items was a wand of controlled water. Oh my god, let me I uh, bowed before the tree and put the wand in the backpack along with the loot. Coming back to uh, uh, Saren. I kind of wanna. Is, is the pool big enough for me to jump into? Yes. Um, I'm going to jump in just to see how deep it is and if it goes anywhere. At the beginning, it's uh, knee high, and as you go forward, it surpasses your height. Ooh. Can, is, I'm assuming like I can't find like an exit for the water. But at some point, if you advance, you feel the force of the waterfall just. Um, 
hitting you and at a point and that point you give me an investigation with disadvantage. Uh sixteen? Yeah, with 16, you witness for the, like, it's heavy water falling upon you. And your luck is that you don't need to breathe. <laughs> because yeah. you're, uh, you're an um, er- er- ergenasi. And you swim a bit um, and, um, and um, emerge your head from the waters behind the waterfall uh, curtain. And you see above a hollow space. Uh, I would like to cast Levitate. Okay, you cast levitate on yourself, but remember, you only have you can, I can only control the ups and downs. Yeah, that's why I want to go up to where this um, thing is. If it's close to the ceiling, I can get it. Can I peer in? Yeah, you peer in. You go inside, and you see a hollow space about the size of a humanoid, um, with black sand. Is there any? Is it? Just black sand, and then the walls, the same material that the that the whole cave is made of. While I'm that high up, is it possible to just like push myself against the wall to shoot me out the other side of the waterfall? <laughs> well, if you go a bit higher than the hollow space or lower, yes. Yeah, I just want to sort of get to a point where I can just like push myself so that I can. Acrobatics. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> Not Let's me see today. What's, what is happening. This is okay. exciting. Not natural 20? A natural? Another natural, natural 20. Oh, oh, yeah, no. 15 plus 5. 15 plus, 15 plus, plus 5. Perfect. It's a dirty, so you push and you see. What do they see? Um, they, You guys basically see me just like shooting backwards out of the waterfall about however high the hole was, and I'm like. Guys, have you found these seeds yet? Because I think there's soil up here. I think I have um, one. Well, can I come from the ceiling and just send <laughs> there a mango here? I'm, I'm pretty sure. Uh, you're, you're, you're gonna have to take me back. I can only go upwards and downwards. I... <laughs> I'll just like grab onto you. you. She can like levitate up to your height and you can <laughs> just like pull me back. Because I have to go on the wall. Like, <laughs> you can drag her. Down. Can I so just like him? throw me back into the water? What? Can I help him push her back by using my pole? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> this is a very comical situation. Like you're upside down dangling and you're pulling her. She's levitating and there is a dance. Why are you pushing me? I'm just gonna like. <laughs> And then propose her with his. No, you wanna, let me rephrase that. You want to say something, Giovanni? Yes, I want to ask, uh, are we sure we're not gonna. We don't have to use the optical illusion. It seems a bit too convenient to have soil right over there. I mean. I'm. Well, just telling you what I saw? I mean, unless you guys have got some other way to create water or make a river? I'm sorry, you were saying something. Like, What's the one thing that can happen? We die? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes. Yeah, that's true. That's pretty a serious situation. But, you know, I've never yeah. been brought back to life, and I don't think we have someone that can even do this. Yeah, that's true. And if we're really unlucky, that's why maybe dead adventurers that just became. Get up. They died finding what? soil. Yeah, I like it. Okay, what <laughs> we're doing? <laughs> Algernon is not paying attention to any of you. He's in his head, uh, pushing some sand across the floor and thinking, I had it all. I had my brother. I will avenge myself. I will become a pacemaker, a baker (laughs) in the Feywild. He will see me, yes. What are we doing? It's good to have gold. <laughs> F- thank you. Do you want to stick your head in a strange hole? <laughs> More than you, I would say. No way, no sir, no how. Uh, but things are different, so I, uh, I could. Why? We found a strange hole, and we were debating whether we should put a seed or a mallet. I will be the sacrifice needed. And I will approach slowly the hole. Thinking that. You have to swim, go past the water. I have to swim. <laughs> go past the water. He hole. realizes that as he sees water and he's like, but, but, but I've never swam in my life. Well, we have an issue. Yes. I'm 
<laughs> to me, when you say never sound life, I'm like, oh, okay. I'll, I'll drown. <laughs> it's not possible. That's a good conclusion, yeah. So, yeah. I will give you two coins if you do that. <laughs> If you put your hand in the wand. Yes. I, I don't think that would be necessary. And I grab my wand of uh, control water and start to control the stream that uh, comes so that it's very uh, not deep, very narrow, uh, so that no one would suffocate. Is it control or create? Control. It's control. It's control. It's control. It's control. Wow, that's a big mm. wand. Yeah. I mean, well, that's what she said. <laughs> So I do that, and while I'm holding the, the wand and the, the stream is uh, more uh, calm, I say, let's let's plant the seed underneath the river. Before I do that, I have a stupid question. Yes. Could we water that tree? Of that course. would be very nice for the tree, because it's yeah. nice. Yes. All right. Uh, I, I first try to taste the water so that it's not salty. It's, it's, is it fresh or is it salty water? When you taste it, it tastes wonderful. It, it tastes like... River water. Like shrimps. Perfect. Then I... <laughs> what? Shrimps. <laughs> 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 what? What? Not like... Shrimps. It's, that, it's the drink that we have in the Fey realm. <laughs> For gin and tonic? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I direct uh, the stream towards the, the tree, towards the um, back of the tree, and uh, see what happens, if anything. Okay. You direct it, you derail it, and some of the water flows towards the tree, and you see the tree getting water. It opens its eyes and says, thank you. Well, uh, you're welcome. It was his idea, but thank you, yes. Thank you. No mission. Oh. No, really, no one will beat me. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I going to mention it to? Other adventurers. Okay. You don't have a gift for him? <laughs> oh, come on, don't be humble. I'll take what can he give me? He's a tree. <laughs> some bark. He can do some Thank close you. The... I'm going to <laughs> The unsung hero. <laughs> now that the tree is watered, now I lower the volume the of the water. Yeah. yeah. What do you do? So uh, the stream always also um, lowers its uh, not depth. What is it? This oh, its volume of water, volume. let's say, um, from the the the, the um, original point, and you see the hollow uh, space that looks exactly like the as a texture of the wall it looks exactly the, like the other walls in the cavern, but on the on the soil is black sand. So we keep pushing her. Yeah, so we're all just heading slowly towards this. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very comical uh, straight <laughs> the I laughs in the back. <laughs> and I guess we arrived there at some point or another. Are we just going to plant the whole mango or are we going to cut the seed out? Can we not eat it first? I'll get like one of my daggers out and just like kind of I mean, cut around. No, you don't know what you're eating. It's very big, and you sort of I'll have get my sword out. <laughs> it's, it's sort of uh, you cut four pieces. Of it. Yeah, and I'll four just kind of, of cut around it. Here you go, and, and I'll just take the seed. Off. And inside, <laughs> the seed looks like the most precious crystal you have ever seen. Oh, <laughs> it's the same. It's, it's the shape of we an avocado one. seed, but it's made of crystal. Mm. Wow. I have one as well. Yeah, same one. Do you cut it as well? When I see that, I just... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I so, want to taste some of the fruit. You take it. And you taste it. And you feel... Like you tasted happiness itself. Mm. It's wonderful. You're excited. You Everything feels so bright and... It's uncomparable, like you cannot put words to it, but you feel just fully heartedly happy. And you get 2d4 plus 2, uh, let me see, 2d4 plus 2 uh, hit points back. Do I roll or? You have just one missing, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, so. From a quarter of a piece. So I am um, kind of now that I see that the middle is made of crystal. So you have left just for bookkeeping. 
three. Uh, not quarters. three, three quarters and uh, eight more, which means a total of uh, 11 quarters. I haven't got my... You haven't got it. Yes, you haven't got it. Mm. I'm going to look very slowly at Angelus. Because I saw you just like... Shrilling. Do I have to plant this? No, you yes. don't have to. We can go back to the city and see mm. it. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like his idea. I, I want to buy a ship, and this could buy me a ship. That would be a small ship. Either way, it you works. Here in the back, good people always get what they deserve. You have to trust. I kind of whisper towards her. <sighs> Imagine how many of this trees and fruits you can find in the fatal. Uh, I was just like, mm. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to look at this. It's like putting it into the soil. It's like put it into the soil. Oh. <laughs> and you look, and you look, and nothing happens. <laughs> Maybe we should water it. Yeah. Direct the because it's beneath <laughs> the river, so I put the I direct the the course of water. Uh, over it, so now there's a river on top of the seed and the soil. So the waterfall stream gets a bit uh, hot, uh, having density and just uh, uh, conducts itself into the hollow space and waters the soil. And who is witnessing this? All of us. All yeah. of you, you're there in various places and you're seeing sprouting with elegance and grace the most beautiful flower you have ever seen before with leaves and petals with intricate shapes and it's sort of fluid but at the same time it's made of pure crystal and it looks fragile and precious it's funny, we can get another one. So still, hard it. still it, still it. <laughs> Break this. We can Just get another one because I have another seed, it's fine. Okay. It's fine. I want to see if it's uh, magical nature. Uh, do you cast something? No, just uh, You look at it. Draw me an arcana. Arcana, sorry. Yeah. It's uh, 19. It's definitely magical. It sprang from a fruit with magical coloration and um, a crystal uh, seed. It's a magical flower. I know exactly what. No shit. Can you get me that? Uh, you hear in the back, get me. You need <coughs> the flower itself? Yes, please, so I can do the ritual. A ritual. Okay, I will just... Is, is there multiple flowers? Or is just, just one? one? <sighs> Before you do that, maybe we could do, you know, yeah. grab it with the dirt. I'm thinking uh, the strange tree may get upset if we keep one of his siblings. Okay. <laughs> I will, I guess... How, would I be able to just scoop it up with my hands? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I'm gonna, as I like come out of the water, I'm just gonna like try and cover it with my body. Do you levitate or do you? Um, I'll try and push myself away with my feet again. Like okay. kicking you, away, but I realize no, get my feet. And further, you see something strange. <laughs> the black sand turns into sort of a normal coloration and then it falls. And then you just have the flower in your hand. Can okay. Do it again. Mm. okay, well, I'll push myself out from the waterfall again <coughs> and sort of lower myself down to the floor. This better be worth it because that was painful to plant. <laughs> Thank you. Question. Still floating? Sorry. Oh. Is there still black sand? Sort of. I'm like, yeah. kind of only a scoop is missing. Okay, oh, can so I don't put drop the, the other seed that I have inside and uh, yeah. with the water? Is there another there. flower blooming? If you do that, yeah. if you take time and yeah. you climb the uh, waterfall like and you plant, plant it and you ask uh, uh, Gorin to help you with the minutes. watering, there's another beautiful flower just sprouting. Yay. Yeah. What do you do with it? I take it and I say, hey, we have another one. Can you also give that? <laughs> <laughs> no? This is mine. Okay. I'm just do you wanna do you wanna help me with the ritual? Sure. We we need the principle is is very basic. We need to help get the help of light and reflection to help us meet the conjunction of planes and open a portal. Light. Yeah. In the cave. Yeah. We 
that we used to look, look around trying to see a crack in the wall where some light may shine through. Oh, but the light doesn't come always just from the sun. It comes from within. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to mock you. I just read a lot of books like those and it... As you sure. say that, I put my torch away. <laughs> <laughs> so, gather around and she takes these beautiful flowers and just smash it with her hands and puts it in a mortar. See, I like physically like... <sighs> <laughs> She put it in, puts it in a mortar and, and a pestle, and uh, she asks you to sit in various places, uh, keeping some petals and some um, some leaves, <laughs> some leaves to to hold the, the the things like mirrors. And you see at the moment, just light starts to get inside the the middle gem, the big rock, and is directing light everywhere and it reflects from your uh, various leaves or petals and it's a beautiful you see it's a sort of rainbows and light reflecting and uh, the headmate smashes the, the the one flower that you gave it and she has this this dust and she draws neon uh, glowing spiral before mixing the the the, the, the residue of the flower with sugar and you all hold your reflective surfaces. And she crushes the flower with the mortar and the pestle, and it creates such beautiful, vivid lights. And the room smells of sun and rain. And she starts chanting, there sits a world on top of our own. I feel it whisper through the stone, and you can feel this beautiful emotion just pumping through you through, through, and connecting. And she sprinkled the dust and the sugar and causing the room to vibrate ever so slightly and her eyes start to roll in her orbits the veil between the worlds gets thin for those who once were trapped within and the arcane forces grow stronger and intensify and glass shards manifest and you are in a mirror house you're surrounded sort of like a protective cocoon made of mirror and she starts chanting again. Come, witness the beauty of the light where time sits still, nor day nor night. Fear not, you'll never be alone. The fay is filled with dance and games and blood and burn. And her voice becomes shrill and something fills off. You feel yourself unable to move. Called it. <laughs> I was just thinking right now. It's not over yet. Uh, Take heed when crossing paths, you might make friends with Fay of Cruel Delight. Beware the ones that smile, not grow, as they seek those to weep and <laughs> And Yehet May's voice pierces the air, shrilling, unnerving, while her, her skin breaks, revealing her true bark texture. Her limbs elongate, becoming thin and spindly. She assumes a hunched, wither form. Knobby, cancerous growths protrude from her back. And you, you see her eyes, deep yellow, yellow sclera eyes, and her mouth is oozing with black ichor. She emits this sick and eerie energy. And in, amidst this grotesque transformation, Gehetme raises her lute amongst the mirror house. And you see the name, ashed inside it, Gehetme reflects. And backwards it reads, I am the hag. You motherfucker. <laughs> you motherfucker bitch. <laughs> you would think we would take a break, but there's more. She approaches you. <laughs> children, 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 my dear children, I told you, you won't get what you deserve. She's trembling with excitement and going towards you first. Um, Gorin, roll me d6. Six. A six. I know you're looking for your daisy, but just so you know, I trapped her here. I am the fox. I made a deal 
with you know who himself. And besides this, beside everything, I want to harm you even more and I want to put a curse on you. you roll, roll me a d6 again. One. <laughs> <laughs> you can't light from now on non-magical fires. I stare at her. I can still can move, right? You can't move, you okay. stare. And I... Who to go next? <laughs> Giovanni. The great Giovanni to you. <laughs> you did a lot of stuff to annoy me. My fashion says, what about my fashion says? Now do you like my ragged clothes, you puffy, entitled human? I wouldn't touch you with my needle, even if my life depended on it. Oh, but it does, it does. Romeo D6. <laughs> <laughs> Best reveal ever. You yes. have one. I will, can I? Thank you. Thank you. Three. <clears throat> Oh, I would like to cut your clothes, but you know what? And she gets your limp hand that is paralyzed and cuts your middle finger. You take 1d6 nice. damage, and I would like, would like to roll your damage for it. And get your middle finger. Uh, you want me to roll? Yeah. Roll your, for your own damage, please. Uh, I roll 5. 5 plus 3, it's an 8. 8 HP. So, <laughs> he get, she gets your finger and she makes a knot and she puts it around her neck. And by the way, now you witness that the golden amulet is not golden anymore, it was a trick. It's just a plain sphere with a flower trap within it and it's a daisy. Um, I'd like to do something as she makes this. I would like to focus and when she would have been done with our last uh, party member, I'd like to spring, spring an action. Okay. Thank you. Cool. We will try to do that. So, um, next. Who to go next? Oh, you, 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 you. <laughs> you know what I despise you the most? Roll me a d6. Sassy people. Okay. Can I talk? I don't know if I can talk. You, you can talk. Now you wouldn't hurt little old me, now would you? Oh, but I would. <laughs> I would so much and I want to hurt deep in your soul. And she launches your, uh, her long spindly arm in your backpack. And she takes from there, guided by God knows what. A dear object from Lord Leon Azeroth himself. Don't you fucking dare. <laughs> what is it? What is it's it? A, um, it would be literally a necklace that is embroidered with jewels and uh, beautiful crystals inside that is, has written in silver uh, with the gold uh, underneath. Um, uh, lover. Ooh. I will take this. You don't need it anymore because you will either die or never see him again. I will hunt you down, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I expect to. I really want. I'm very bored. Delete oh. is action hero. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> next. He honestly, you are the most fun one. You trust me you to my hand. I'm very, very grateful. Romeo D6. Mm, yeah, with advantage. <laughs> yeah. A one. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna be the last one, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> uh, you know, roll me again because oh. this was already. And if you roll a one, you six. Okay, roll me a D6 again. If you roll a one, or you can you get to reroll. No, the six. What the? <laughs> <hell>? <laughs> <laughs> it's a twelve. You, think one? you will love this. Oh uh, uh, no! Bring it. <laughs> you know what? I feel that you're so happy and so. And excited, and you're moving a lot, and you're very, you know what? And your feet now are reversed, mm. and your hands the same. Your left is your right, and your right oh. is your left. Oh, oh no, what? It's fine. You can train your uh, your brain. It's fine. It's not that bad. <laughs> it looks very weird. That's true. They're reversed, I like physically, like. I like... trusted you. Oh my god. 
I like you free. Oh, I thought you would get what you deserve. What about you? Something what like about you? Thank I'm you. Just, I'm still kind of hovering a little bit. Like ice, the cold ice expression. And I muster up some aggression. Nature commands you. Repent. The other command, it's only vocal components. Oh. And it's a one word. So. Okay. She's Fuck. gonna use one of the legendary rea- reaction to resist it. Uh, oh. She's a legendary bitch. Okay. <laughs> Next. Um, whose is it? It doesn't roll a dish. Oh, roll a dish. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like the rest of us have to say I would have, I would have, I would have known. Six. Six. Roll only a d6 again if it's a one or a six re roll. Five. Oh. I think you're gonna love Feywild. So many emotions. This is why from now on you can't laugh without crying or cry without laughing. But that's my spiel. <laughs> oh, and you! Bastard! I know! <laughs> I don't want to be here! Roll so me a d6. D- I've been a friend with three, boy. How much is it? Three. Three. It's neither a five Roll six. me again. Let's get something uh, off. A2. Oh, okay. So a d8, please. This is oh. gonna be fun. Oh, oh, do you have a d8? Because uh, I actually don't have. Thank you. This is gonna be so fun! Seven! Wow. Six, 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 seven. You're gonna lose something that I know will bother this son of a bitch. Maybe. You're gonna lose your sense of fashion and your drunk <laughs> and, and <laughs> 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 I will You're dressed in polka dots in the most mismatched oh and cheap God. things <laughs> ever. <laughs> and, and the thing is that you love them. <laughs> you love them so much, like you. <laughs> Rewinds. Oh la la! And he's amazing. dressed like shit. I did the second condition. No, my God. <laughs> Sincerity. Um, I guess. And you hear for the first time the drone pulsating, and a portal appears. Beneath the light, you see another realm, and she beckons away. I guess you will die or follow me into the Feywild. <laughs> Before uh, she yeah. did that, started moving away. How many feet away she was from me? Let's see. Uh, depending on how, I'm gonna roll up, up, up. Let's see a d8. It's, is it fair? It's a four. Four feet. I cannot move now, can I? Useless. Useless. <laughs> okay. So she's backing away. Bye, children. <laughs> and the room starts to. To vibrates, and it's a room made of glass. Oh, you right. can move down. The break. Do I see a? Uh, it's the portal there, right? Yeah. Okay. But it's dimming, <laughs> and it's shrinking in size by the second. I what do you do? Look at you guys, and I say, I cannot live. Miss, let this man live like this. It's it's a crime. I throw my hands. <laughs> and uh, I throw myself in the pool. Yes, I throw myself. Yeah. Oh, well, uh, yes, break that. Say that again. Drop my levitation and just jump through. So, yes, what am I gonna do? Stay in the Giovanni room? and Saren. I are will, going through the portal. I will also like jump into the portal after them. Dendro as well. Yeah, same. Same. Yeah, in my ne- dapper new clothes, I will <laughs> instinctively <laughs> run into the portal. Yes. I'm nothing if not a coward. Flashes of light before your eyes. Red, pink, yellow, purple, red, pink, break. We're gonna take a break. Oh! oh. oh. I like you too for this. Open That's how hand. I need to plug the nice. thing. Thank you guys. We're gonna be back in the we do not like hags, hashtag. I can eat that. Available now to smell it. Nom nom nom. Nom nom. Nom 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 nom. You're a weirdo. Go 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 go
we're back with Get Me Runway Part 2 of the first episode. And as our adventurers stepped into the portal, flashes of raw light to roll before your eyes of red, green, yellow, purple, blue, red, green, yellow, purple, blue, and it lands on the fluorescent greenish yellow purple, the eighth color, the octarine color, as one might say. And in the blink of a second, everything had changed. You are not sure where you are, but your eyes are very sensitive. Though, by the smell of it, and by the humidity, you're certain you have left the cave. You sit on something, and as time goes by, second by second, you understand it's a pile of overgrown mushrooms, of bright neon colors. Your sclera burns as everything is overwhelming. Everybody, roll me a perception with disadvantage. Ooh. Oh, the collective groan. Nailed. Are you guys Disadvantage. Let's say yes. Uh, a natural good. twenty and a two, <coughs> which is the bonus me up to six. Okay. Eleven. Five. Uh, okay. Sixteen plus six. Twenty-two. Twenty-two with disadvantage. Yes. Actual 20 and 18. Okay, so you two see other stuff. And please also throw me a d20, everyone, and tell me just who's the highest. I'm the highest. Three, three, five, four, eight, 13, 16. So the following things happen. As you look up, you find as your eyes just burns, it's all so overwhelming with colors and pastels. You find yourself in a place of unrested, awe-inspiring natural or unnatural beauty. Like the smells feel very strong, colors are more vivid, sounds are more clearer, but at the same time, time shadows are darker and you find your impulses very hard to control. Your raw emotion just yearns to break out. You look around in this forest of overgrown mushrooms and the hag is gone. And you, dear Giovanni Giorgio, you see that you have stepped or fallen on a huge mushroom. It's um, little ha it's, it's huge head actually broken in two. And around it in the grass, you find an object that shines and it's very beautiful. It shines of gold and it has this pattern of intertwining butterflies and rivers and natural elements. It's a crown. It's a what? It's a crown. It's a crown. It's a big fashionable crown. <laughs> Would you consider this what I described to you fashionable? No, acceptable. acceptable. <laughs> it's, a, it's an acceptable, decent crown. I uh, pick up the crown. I look at it. I look around to see if there's a king or a queen that should fit on. And if not, <laughs> I uh, throw it at the rogue. Say, I'm gonna try and catch it. Use it to buy a ship. But um, I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna deliberately miss and then freak out at my hands being reversed. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, what is this? What? <laughs> I love this so much. <laughs> I, I can't steal shit with this! I have read of an experimental medical procedure that I may be able to perform on you, should you wish your... Uh, You're hands. so close! You don't sew people! I sew both of them. Clothes, people, leather. Oh, it's bloody as well, it doesn't, doesn't matter. It's leather, it works. Exactly. Let's just... Kill that bitch. And take the crown. <laughs> with that I agree. Oh, so I'm just gonna do. like fumble, try and pick up so the crown. What do you do with the crown firstly? And then we're gonna go with, to see what everybody does. 
I will kind of fumble, pick up the crown, get used to like my hands being robust. Um, can I just like inspect it? Yeah. Like just kind of what yeah. metal is it made from? Yeah, like, investigation. Kind of and as you do this, who can else wanted to do stuff? Dice. Um, as uh, this is happening and uh, I'm looking around, I say, so, um, so we do not die before we reach the hack. Any items or uh, plants or foods that might look beautiful or delicious before touching it, please check if it's okay. There are a lot of cursed items here from what I heard in the books and that crown might be one of them. That's a very smart thing and I do intend to say that. Before that, here is your staff. You oh, are the so camera. Oh, okay, it doesn't matter. Here is the staff for your leader. And I rolled a natural one. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh no. This is. But it's a five if you include it. <laughs> that this emanating so much magic and power and. You think it's special. Special, and you need to do something with it. Not put it in the back of your bag. My wisdom is really low, and she doesn't make very good life choices anyway. So I am very tempted to just put that on. <laughs> you put it on. Yeah, I'll, I'll put it on. I'll be like, I'll do it slowly in case anyone thinks it should. <laughs> you put it on, and you feel, you feel on your head that the item is resting. Wow. It's resting. It's Nothing resting. else. Nothing else. Or, you know what? You can only give me a perception. I'd like that, of course. Uh, I don't know what you have with the. Uh, uh, Including me? Yeah? Uh, with the witch. I mean, she's a nice chop. The DC is 20, just by the way. 20. Uh, 20. 27. <laughs> okay. What's my perception? Do not do meta. Oh, I did a right? 19. You. You swear to baby Jesus. <laughs> swear to baby Jesus. <laughs> you swear to Kelamore, you know? That where um your friend um your friend Saren is sitting around her. The sh mushrooms just tilted very fast, almost imperceptible. Imperceptible. <laughs> imperceptible. Imperceptible, right? Thank you. Vampire English, so you know. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, imperceptible. They shifted their heads, sort of like. Like so a bow towards so her? Maybe like a bow. It, it looks like a bow now that you're saying it. You are certain of it. Like you see like a ripple effect. All of the all of the mushrooms just tilt their heads and in, in front. Maybe like a bow. I think you just became the mushroom queen. <laughs> so then I bow to you. <laughs> Do not take this personal, or take this personal, but I swear to God, if I die here because of you, I'm gonna haunt you for the rest of my life. It's okay, as long as I get that flower and sell it for mm. some good money, I will take the haunting. I think you're gonna get a new pair of hands. I mean, I just need to get them <laughs> She's switched. She's talking in her hands, aren't you? <laughs> Can I take it off? Well, I, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> yes, I the mean, mushrooms may be getting upset. Yeah. No. What happens if I slowly start to lift it oh, off my head? I'm not going to take it fully, just like... Sixteen. Total damage. Twenty. 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 So you swear to, again, to Kelamore, the tilts of the mushrooms just back and straightened. The others, you don't see anything. I have all the 22 for this. Yes, yeah, so you see the same thing. I, I, I wouldn't... I, Should I, I keep it on? Yeah. Maybe you can I don't know, command them at some point okay. to do some things. I'll stand up. Mushrooms. At some point, maybe. Yeah. Show us the path to the hag. Uh, or safety. Or food. Or daisy. Seems there are a lot of or options. a daisy. Uh, <laughs> I do okay. have food if you want that. All of them tilt their heads in different directions. Perfect. I think there are too many options. Do we want to pick one in particular? <laughs> but what was the last... You, you rolled the 20, what? 22? 22. 22. You're seeing something. In the distance, you see the sun. It's bigger than in the realm that you come from. And you're not sure what day is it, but this the sun is 
manifesting like the most beautiful haunting twilight you have ever seen before your eyes or is it the sunrise you just see me hypnotized on that ball of light right? and also you start to hear in the distance <laughs> you see very far away two lanterns just moving or maybe fireflies and moving in your direction getting closer and closer there are lights coming towards us what do you want to do i would like to use this time to patch myself would you like a mango piece of mango fruit i think we may be need to use that when we fight the hat. I have my uh, yes. healing supplies that will help me enough. Oh, I would like to stealth. Hide. Hide. Okay, yeah. give me a stealth. I would like to approach five feet towards the light and look at it intensively to see if I can discern anything. So you approach and look? Yes. And pouting or what? What's your stance? I'm like, I I see light, but I don't know what that is. Hello? Hello. Closer, closer and closer. Hmm. Deandra, what do you do? I want to use detect magic as a ritual on the crown. It won't tell me the exact properties. because it's You not... know the school and... Um... Yeah. Okay, 10 minutes, it's ritual, yeah. so I'm gonna keep you up posted. I will, as you mentioned the lights, like, mushrooms, hide me in danger. Oh, <laughs> uh, you see the one in front of you, it's a big mushroom, just to shift a little bit. And I will also roll stealth. Okay, roll yourself. Natural 20! Yeah! It shifts so well. It's a tiny dice. It shifts so well. It um, falls over me. <laughs> you see, like, it's something super weird, but I mean, you know, I'm gonna get back in, in a second. It's plus um, seven. Being that my if my parents were born in the um, Feywild, I wasn't, but I, I tried to remember <laughs> the, their stories. They didn't tell me much yeah. when I was young, but I tried to remember as much as they whispered to each other about the Feywild, just to see what I know about the realm. If I remember correctly, um, and I'm assuming so, your parents were very secretive about Feywild. They yeah. didn't want to enthrall you with stories and such. But you hear whispers, you heard whispers in the night, and you remember them missing the general emotion, the overall feeling of excitement and everything can happen, bad, good. It's like we're living on a roller coaster and the tricks and the laws, and you remember there were three laws, a very important, about hospitality and truth telling, but you don't exactly remember the phrasing. If you want, you can roll me a history yeah. to see if you can uh, remember both. Yes, I remember a lot because it's a 22. Oh. You think a little bit. You think and think. And you remember one of the three laws were speak no falsehoods in the sense that the Fae cannot tell lies, but beware. They always find a way to avoid some things and to bargain and make deals but overall they, they cannot tell lies the second thing is they have to keep all promises if you promise something even with bad intent or good intent you have to keep it otherwise the land will obey you to it and the third one is always be hospitable when you're at the house you always have to be gain an entrance and be welcomed inside whether afterwards you'll be killed or not, that's a, that's a different story, but you always have, have to be hospitable, otherwise the land will turn against you. This is it. So, the um, lanterns get closer and closer and closer and closer. 
Yeah. Do I manage to heal myself before they get close to us? Yeah, well, what, what do you do to heal? I uh, get out some of my uh, strings and some of my weaves mm -hmm. and use them to bandage my missing finger and to stop the bleeding. You stop it. And if need be, I cauterize the wound as well. Okay. And do you have some benefits for healing? Or is just uh... I have medicine. <laughs> okay, let's go. With that medicine check, you can roll me a d4 and add your proficiency bonus to it. If you're proficient with the medicine. I, I rolled a 13. No, uh, D4. D4 for healing. D4 for healing. D20, nice. No, no. It's a 4. 4 plus your proficiency bonus with it, which is, I think it's a 3. It's, it's a, a 7. Sep it's in total. Cool. Oh, the, the whole proficiency, not the ability score modifier and all? No, the, just the proficiency bonus. The right? proficiency it's, is a 2. Okay, so, so it's a 6. six. Okay. 6 HP. Yeah. Let's go. So, as you do this, and you two are invisible, almost invisible, and very invisible. <laughs> uh, and you are... Sitting, uh, you're sitting, pondering about your past. Yeah, I'm leaning, leaning the, against the, the, the big mushroom that covered I'm me. close to her doing that. Oh, okay, and doing that. Thank you for reminding me. You see the a very strange thing. Like, usually when you're... And you're used to this uh, casting. You pray to the gods of nature to to enlighten you and you see different colors that you can read now you see just a very strange color the eighth color the fl fluorescent yellow greenish purple it's magical it's the color of magic obviously <laughs> but um very precious cold <laughs> you, sort of, you sort of feel you have a feeling of grace of hospitality maybe but you don't know what that means and the school? Maybe enchantment. Alright. So, as the lights get closer and closer, you start hearing a high pitch voice. And then another. And you guys, uh, and I mean, meaning uh, Goren, uh, Angelo, and I forgot who else knows, New Sylvan. I know, uh, no, I know. <laughs> and Dendro, you understand that is like, see, no, no, this is not how you're supposed to start a shoelace. No, like, usually you have to go with the bunny hole. No, you're selling stupid, stupid stuff, Diggy Daddy King. No. And they are going closer and closer towards you and you see two small elven figures but small like almost tiny with insectile wings and a bright glow and as these come closer and call closer you see them in a heated argument half of you don't understand it half of you you do it's a very high pitch voice and it's annoying and screeching your brain um, but the ones who understand they're having an argument, an intense argument, mind you, about the proper way to tie shoelaces in order to make a perfect prank. <laughs> <laughs> and they're getting closer and... No, no, so, mind you, the bunny tie is the perfect one. It's gonna this, make the bunny in. Hello? <laughs> and like this, you see? Yes. Uh, and she's pointing towards the um, ears? bunny ears. But half of you who don't know Sofa, you understand. <laughs> <laughs> pointing like very high pitched voices, pointing towards his ears. Role play accordingly, and don't forget your curses and gifts for from the beloved Gefehet May, please. Uh, are those uh, mosquitoes? Uh, no, no, they are uh, creatures of the of the Fae. Uh, uh, I, I speak to them and I say, yes, of course, I go along with it. In oh. silver or common? In silver. <laughs> and I say to them, uh, always start with the bunny ears. You see, Diggy, always start with the bunny ears. Oh, Trixie, what? No, you have to do the crocodile. I'm sorry. This is how you snap your neck. <laughs> and she's sitting uh, with her hands and her, her shoulders, just flying gently in the, the wind with the bright pink coloration. What do you guys do? 
I take a small bow. Welcome. Um, hello there. Uh, Descendants of the Feywild. Common or Sylvan? Sylvan, of course. Okay. Uh, I am pleased to make your acquaintance. This is Pixie. Yes, I'm Pixie. My Bye, name... gently. <laughs> My name is Dandro. Oh, Dandro, 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 Dandro. It's a funny name. Yeah, it's a funny name. Yeah, yeah, it's a funny name. Funny name. <laughs> <laughs> and laughing. <laughs> and you hear us. <laughs> I think I'm having a stroke. <laughs> That's what it's feel like, yeah. Um, I had one once. You yes. don't talk to me, exactly. <laughs> you not talk to me until we fix you. That's it. But I'm, I, have, I have spoken. That's it. That's Would you be willing to help us a bit? We are in quite a predicament as we found ourselves stranded here with no proper guide. Oh, you need information. Information, yes, information. Yes. But well, we need something as well. What do you desire? Mm. Mm. <laughs> the other one goes, you know what? You give us this. No, my. Do you want it French <laughs> style? Or? You like it? You don't. Um, I think you gotta go like this. Yeah. You want my actual lips? Or a kiss? Yes. <laughs> Choose wisely. Okay. Pick. Okay, we have deal. It's verbal. You have to tell us. What do you need information for? Firstly, <laughs> where exactly are we? This is the Feywild. Yes, it is the Feywild. We're in the silly court, you silly buff. <laughs> but it's not silly, silly. No, it's silly. Not the other silly. Uh, yes. <laughs> Still on silver. Wouldn't you be interested in this beautiful specimen? Yes, you. And this is a Trixie. You can also give me this. And I turn towards you in common. Kiss her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can give us information. You can ask for information. You also give us this, right? How about you kiss my... <laughs> <laughs> I, try, I try to lie to him as well and say they ask for spe specifically for you to yeah, kiss them. Specifically for me. Yeah. Yes. Wow, very <laughs> <laughs> he also knows Sylvan, by the yes. way. What? <laughs> he knows <laughs> him. <laughs> like those uh, those uh, Asian workers. Like, <laughs> That's not okay. <laughs> but oh, mm -hmm. um, okay. So, um, if I give you a kiss, is that uh, your? I say this in Sylvan. You give us this, and we give information. Is it that hard? I need you to be much more clearer than that because this can. We leaving. <laughs> I am not impressed. <laughs> you can go, and then you'll never get. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Trixie says, this is your last chance. I'm not giving her. We also yes. took a deal, not interested in you. What information do you need? You should ask for the hackers. Yeah. When is the hack? Which hack? Baba Yaga, we have the crocodile one, the red hack, the bloom scent forest hack, the spinky winky hack, the Baba Lisaga wig, and the wacky wig wack hack. Yeah, the hat may. Yeah, hat may. The, the one with the, the yellow eyes, the. Oh, the... uh, I know her very well. <laughs> uh, What's her name? She, the hat may. She's from 
shadow so you know the mirror place mm -hmm. it's very you had me i'm hanging reverse like please be original this is a like a Haggy Hag Hag, now that's a good name. <laughs> <laughs> what about your head name? She is here. Yes. Can you point us towards... I do not know where they live, but you know what I know? I know she used to work with someone. Corvo, <laughs> he is a satire. They used to work very close with her. Yes, she did. And, uh... You might find him. He's here in the city court and talk with him. Thank you. This is it. One information for this. Yes. <laughs> well, the, the, the nice uh, fellow uh, with the polka dot uh, uh, shirt will give it. Very beautiful attire. Yes. I don't understand anything, but I think some stacker bitch may have been <laughs> <laughs> You just stay and watch. That's it. He wants to this? Yes. yes. And now I'm speaking common towards him and uh, say, um, uh, they would be on uh, Trixie would be honored if we, if you do, you would kiss her. Didi, uh, Didi, I I I, I, I for Didi, I can't. Uh, I, I wouldn't because uh, I've never done that before. Your, it's your chance. No, I mean, no, I, never. I prefer not <laughs> to besmatch my soul for information. I'm just uh, in your backpack. <laughs> yes, I'm a virgin. I know. <laughs> so, who? Well, if Where nobody is going want? to give it, you should give it, because you made the deal. For second information. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just completely here, just watching More this. Walking. Sm like, oh, She's gliding. <laughs> what else do you need to know? That would be all. Okay, so who... Uh, you don't want to know what Corvo is? <laughs> I mean, it's very important. <laughs> <laughs> so who gives me this? Says Didi Dodikins. In exchange for information. Or we leave. I don't know who's going to ice it since Sylvan give you the keys for the information, but I can give you a dance for the information to where it's called. How you about give that? us this? Belly dance, everything. Okay, I take this. <laughs> okay, what, what the information do you need? First is, information. What is Corvo? What is Corvo? Yeah, you go left, left, and then the other left, and then left, left, the other left. Mm -hmm. 100 steps towards sunrise and then the other left. Do you, do you have certain like um, trees or specific plants that are in the way? That He's in the mushroom land. Okay. He has a big mushroom. He has a big mushroom. Yeah, the biggest. Okay, so this is all. Bye. And they leave. Thank you. <laughs> You're so lucky. So, what have you talked about? We are what? talking about your virginity. Yeah. No, I think we should talk about what you've been talking about. Yes. I mean, wait, wait. They, they sensed. But, but why me? Because you're like, I'm old, I should blank. What's. There's nothing but pain. They wanted a kiss from you and you disappointed them. They're very disappointed in you right now. They. Um, um, Stop around <laughs> I say this in silver. This is not nice. You're fucking with an old man. Uh, very, very not literally. <laughs> not literally. <laughs> <laughs> so are you moving? Are you before we move, are you so happy? I'm still hidden and listening to what's going on. How do we know neither of us is uh, another half? That's a good question. <laughs> oh, who says that? <laughs> <laughs> so the mushrooms are speaking. <laughs> yes, I'd like to have a way of checking that. You seem to be magically inclined, or at least some of us. Well, I would like to have you to check each other and to check everyone. How do you uh, check what uh, I don't know. I will not you are magic, I am just a table. Uh, I will not talk to you, but 
next to you, I've heard some stories about people cutting their hands and setting fire to their blood to see if they are hags or not. So the man I'm talking to, not talking to, uh, yeah. makes a fair <laughs> point in the sense that I imagine the blood of a hag may be magical, yes? Maybe we cut each other and see if... Uh, you can detect any magic. History check to see if I know a way to check if someone is a hag. Drone. Yeah, I roll. Yeah, I, I think history, history would be most suitable for my background. You can think about if you heard stories. Throw them in the lake if they drown, they're not a witch. <laughs> if they <laughs> don't drown, they're a witch. That's uh, 17. One. Oh, no. uh, you you read once. exclusively the pirate stories from yes. the book. Like exclusively. Want to go Did anyone roll something else? <laughs> 17. 17. So, with the 17, you remember reading exactly that. Like, if you set fire to your blood, you know you're a hag or not. And if it uh, uh, sparkles and goes like fireworks, it, you're definitely a hag. Okay. I, I've cauterized my... Oh, sorry. No, no, you can't go because I... Do you relay this information? Yeah. yeah. I've cauterized my wounds. As you can see, I do not glow in any weird color, even though I do glow in action. Uh, I'm not a hack, at least uh, not that I know of, but I would like everyone else to take such a test. I, I can only trust so much. I take a caltrop from uh, my bag and simply press my thumb against it a bit just to draw some blood and look at you. Would you be so kind as to light up this match? Of <laughs> match, <laughs> sure. No. And Beware let... of the camera! Oh, <laughs> and I let the drop of blood fall onto the fire. Okay, it falls onto the fire. Nothing happens. Do you say something? Well, point proven. As you say this, <laughs> your mouth starts to itch very hard. You need to scratch it. You scratch it. And as you scratch it, you feel your mouth shrinking, shrinking, shrinking until it's the size, this size. And you feel you have sharp teeth. And you see in the distance the lantern figures just going a little bit heavy. And you hear your voice speaking. Yes, this is how you should speak always, Didi Daddy Kids. <laughs> and now you have the peak, the mouth of a pixie, and please rope it accordingly. All right. <laughs> That's why you don't kiss or do deals with pixies. Do you move as saying this? What? Do you move? Have you tested your No, body? I'm sitting still and not doing anything at all right now. Okay. <laughs> no. I'm scared of doing anything right now. I will cut myself. Uh, do you have a knife, perhaps? Because I don't have any weapon. I just quickly take out the knife. You... <laughs> <laughs> when did the poke him with my needle? I want you to make this. You take one Thank point of damage <laughs> out of your four full. <laughs> Up to uh, eight, sorry, HP points. Uh, 12. <laughs> 12. And now I have 11. <laughs> okay. I feel bad. Every day on my hand. It's okay. Uh, I uh, wait up a match. I cannot look at the Nothing happens. I close my eyes, get out uh, my medicine kit, and start bandaging him up. Oh. I, I scream as I touch you. <laughs> <laughs> What about you guys? I guess I'll eventually I'll just like appear out of nowhere. I'm like, hug! Where have you been? Mushrooms! Hit him! <laughs> no. Um Do we have to do this? You just hear three the mushrooms attack! <laughs> I would very much like you to lose. We're going to be stuck together, so... Uh... And then I'll pull out my dagger and just like... Mm. On top of the fire. Nothing happens. You are not a hag. <laughs> Would have told you this. Do we actually know this works? I mean, I have... I'm fey blooded in a way, so... Well, then we may have a partial, uh, at least, 
confirmation of any particular uh, spiciness your blood meat possesses. Yeah, but <laughs> that doesn't mean make me a hag automatically. It's not scientifically proven. Do you have a better idea? Uh, yeah, trust each other. Well, it is not said that fey blood will sparkle in the fire, it's the hag blood. So that's Specifically. See, I trusted these guys and I lost a crystal the size of my palm. <laughs> so... Let's not talk about <laughs> trusting people. And... <laughs> what about this? So, hey, you this wanted is, to kiss it. This is my point. <laughs> this is where trusting people gets you. Yeah. Exactly! That's why That's we cut ourselves. Need to, uh... yes, oh so, are you doing it or not? Uh, I'm not doing it. Okay. Hmm. But you might just take! <laughs> Reach. So, what do you do next? I shall uh, wait until we get the proper moment in our journey. Go next to the rabbit. <laughs> oh, no. oh, him with me. <laughs> so you start walking. So when we will we... start walking, I will casually approach him, poke okay. him with the needle, and the but before this happens, do you start walking? Do we need the mushrooms to point us in a particular direction? Uh, maybe they maybe. should point us to uh, the saint here, that was mentioned. Honestly, uh, the, the BC told me that we have to take left, left, then left, 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 then left, 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 then 100 steps toward the sun. Right, dawn. Left, 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 left. I don't know, we're well, supposed to be finding a safe It's left and the other left. Some it's of left, them left, 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 other left, 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 other left, a hundred steps sun. It just means you turn other around. Left. Like left, 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 left. Maybe it's a... Yeah. Okay. Did, did she specify a location? Yes, she did. <laughs> As I told you, she told you it's, a mu it's in the mushroom land. Mushroom land, mushroom land. So, what are you doing? Maybe the mushrooms can show us the big mushroom, of course. Obviously, because no one's actually mentioned the person's name in common yet. <laughs> that oh, we're trying it to was find. The oh, sorry. <laughs> the satyr is called Corv. Darling mushrooms, take us or show us the way to Corvu. They're tilting very fast towards left. No. Incredible. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> Follow the mushrooms. Yes, yes, my queen. <laughs> oh, so you start moving. Yeah. As you start moving, the one who uttered my queen, you you know that you have like this elegant movement to you. You feel suddenly very stiff, and your uh, your hips tighten very and it gets smaller and smaller and smaller, and you. You look like you have been pulled through a ring and just got stuck in it. You have now the hips of a fey, uh, of, a, of, a, of a pixie. Oh, oh my pixie. god. Oh, fuck. Honestly, this is pretty much working for you. I think the corset is too tight. <laughs> I don't... Where is the food gonna go? Oh, when would you look at that? I want to see the pixie. You <laughs> see in the distance, <laughs> with size, like a big, your booty. You see your booty in the distance, just trying to fly no, no, with no. that. <laughs> we have, we got it. <laughs> I am so close to hunting pixies right now. You hear? <laughs> <laughs> It's fine. So you advance. Yes. You go left, left, then the other left, which is. Right. I right. Mean, or, or maybe we are in the Feywild, so the other left is an actual location. Do I get a chance to poke him with my needle? Um, I'm just following the direction of the machine. Roll me stealthy. I am not going to be stealthy. You're not? Oh, just poke him. I just go next to you and then poke him. Roll me an attack then. He grabs it by the ears. Hold his ears. What's your AC? Uh, 14. I miss. Oh no. He tries to poke you home with how much? Him. It's a seven, but I have. You see a uh, tailor's needle. You see me getting close to you, and I aim for somewhere around your head. The eye. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I don't manage to as I uh, put it in your thick fur. What are you doing? I'm testing. I. This is not going to hurt you. This is an evil, you know. I. I. Give it to me. Thank yeah. you. I eventually uh, poke one of uh, my fingers. See, this is also a means of trusting people. We've all bled together. <laughs> yeah, it's, this exchange of fluids on your needle is not exactly what I had in I've mind. I've been 
constantly cauterizing it. Yeah, how? <laughs> we didn't see you cauterizing it. Well, you don't have to see it. <laughs> just have to believe. It just it. has to happen. You have to trust. Faith them. goes a long way, as we have to oh, yes. And hope. Yeah, and and hope. so does have seen. <laughs> I do not know what that is, but oh, wow. I do not want to meet. <laughs> um, so, what do you do with the blood? We burn it. Yeah. How do you burn it? Uh, I, like I don't like. I have a match. Yeah, we use the match. Okay. You light a match. A single droplet of blood goes through the match, and, and the second that it meets fire, it hops like a bunny. Well, it's a dead sparkle, so you're good yeah. in my book. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. Blood hops. So I do have a question, yes. If we were to drain your blood, put you in a pool, would we have a trampoline? <laughs> wow. uh, I just like slowly turn around from the front, like, the fuck? <laughs> That's a nice idea, actually. <laughs> Weren't you the one mentioning earlier something about human sacrifices or something? No, I never sacrificed. Oh, yeah. it was him, yeah. It I was think. me, actually. <laughs> For you, yeah, one of you. As long as not rabbit sacrifices, I'm fine with it. The only thing I sacrifice to uh, other people's businesses. So, like your brothers. It's peace. Yeah, we are in the same business, we are a family. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to Share your heart. I don't want to talk about it and I'll continue. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going, moving, walking and talking. Yes. Do you want to do something else? Oh, looking. <laughs> yes, I would like to look to see if there is anything the father has. <laughs> <Press it down. laughs> I'm, I'm kind of like watching my feet oh. and tripping over every so often, but like trying to get control of my feet properly as we walk. 18. 18. 21. Okay, <laughs> what else? So, with that, you notice clearly, even you a little bit, uh, D'Andro. No, not D'Andro. Algernon, sorry. <laughs> Such complicated names for this session. Yes, Algernon. English. So, no, Bob. Algernon <laughs> Blackwood. Uh, so, you, you're you witnessing as um, Saren goes further and further. The tips of the mushroom just bow and... Their di her direction, but nothing else. Queen of mushrooms, indeed. So I'm one. Should we call her Rita Krypton? Yeah, we will stay in a angel. The old goat. You said that uh, when we fell, there was a big mushroom that was ripped into when the crown was down, right? So, did we just kill the king or king, queen of the mushrooms, and we stole her crown, and now everybody thinks you're the queen? I mean, it was gifted to me by this wonderfully fine clothed gentleman, so he did you technically kill killed the potential mushroom queen. Um, Don't kill me, please. I'm no <laughs> royalty slayer. I just offered her a new outlook on life. <laughs> the outlook was there. <laughs> <laughs> Um, they <laughs> uh, question, are the mushrooms behind us closing? Not up? closing, just tilting their heads. They, they don't have a lot of movement. Oh, okay. But, um, yeah. Noticing this around us and this conversation, um, I ask, do you, can you communicate with them? Actually, like, how do you communicate? Telepathically? Is it mycelium? Underneath the... Um, I kind of close my eyes and in my head. Let's go. Hello. Hello. You concentrate very hard. And you think, and you're sort of like imagining maybe, or wishing more, someone would answer. Hello, it's me, the mushroom. I'm guiding you, bro. But nothing happens. <laughs> No, I don't think. So you can command them, but they cannot they answer can to you. They communicate. Does anyone have that spell to talk to plants? Oh yes, I have talked to mushrooms, talked to frogs, talked to anything. She technically a mushroom is not a plant. Exactly. Well, that's a mushroom, different spelling. <laughs> <laughs> um, as you advance, the one, you two, that rolled very high on perception, you see in the distance uh, 
know, beautiful neon mushroom, purplish coloration, and behind it, I don't know if you guys know, and your your characters actually know how a satyr looks like, but it's re it resembles a stout male with a vigorous human body and um, uh, clo um, clothed hoofs, the one like like a goat, and black hair. Uh, but as you advance, you see its mighty thick beard with dark hair and muscle torso. It's stocky and strong. With and, and as you advance, you see its blue vest, like some of the bottom is missing, and it's its hind parts covered in black obsidian fur and a big pair of horns that arch back and... Uh, you see as you approach, he's seeing you as well, and he has intense yellow eyes. It's beautiful, but they look at you with curiosity and hedonism in equal measure. He wants to get dirty. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> he wants to roll over in the mud. <laughs> Do I know this? It's uh, best. Yeah. What kind of craftsman craftsmanship is it made of? <laughs> a poor one. Mm. I think we know the gift we're gonna give to this one. <laughs> a savage. A savage. What do you guys do? We approach. I will hold my hand up in greeting. Bow to the queen peasant. Oh. <laughs> Hi, we were told that you might be able to help us find someone. Hello, hello, your highness, and he bows his head. Of course. Um, what do you mean? Well, <coughs> we are looking for someone called Gahetmai. 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 Uh, and we were informed you might be able to point us in the right direction. What a bitch, right? <laughs> had me had me serving her for years now and you got free. years I had got free paying my own price it was a hardship and a long journey not about to get in trouble because of pixie tricked fellers <laughs> as I can see clearly can we go back and kill the pixies, please? Sir, I have to say, I've been looking at you, I've been noticing you, you have a wonderful body, a work of art, but the clothes you're wearing, <laughs> they just pull. I do not care about fucking clothes. Exactly. That's, that's why you aren't at the top of your game. <laughs> oh, and if I throw this and they get uh, top oh topless and they throw their <laughs> blue vest. Yeah, that's exactly what you should do with it. It sucks. Good job. I applaud you. Now, if what do you want? To make you some something better. Um, I don't care about clothes. You so are you just gonna stay there and let me, you know, do the measures <laughs> and uh, that's all I need. So Your consent okay. and uh, the about 10 minutes. Do you don't have so. my consent. I do not? No. Well, that is uh, that's sex for you, yes. <laughs> um. Roll me a persuasion, let's go. <laughs> With disadvantage. Uh, disadvantage. Uh, I roll the seven. Mm. He looks at you from top to bottom. You're not bad yourself, but um, I do not care for clothes. Then let me, do, if you don't think I'm bad, let me show you my mules. <laughs> okay. I summon my mules, the sharp dressed man. It's... And he is pretty. He is very beautiful. Yes. But also a little too much fanciness for my taste. He's nude. He's nude, oh, okay. The sharp dressed man. He's not wearing any clothes. Oh, okay. Oh. I didn't know that. Wow, it's gay. I just realized that. Okay. I'm, I'm just really by your back. back and just like... I mean, what's the sharpest thing that's wrong? And now I'm a particularly fashionable one. Okay, I see. But this... Yeah, this is not good. Yeah, this is not good. I see. But this... And he points towards your mid. It's not real. It's literally an extension of my will. It is as real as I am. That means it's part of you, but this, as a being, it's not real. Your mercy, yes. 
Mr. Corvo, but what what would release you from your servitude towards the hand? I am released from my servitude, and I bathe it with this. <laughs> and he um, just waves his hand above his arched horns, and you see one is missing. Oh no! no that's not Did she thing. take it from you? You know, it's mm-hmm. it's me in season. Yes, I heard that. What if we retrieve that horn from her? Or not? Mm. But do you think you're strong enough? To retrieve anything from Gehetme. Oh, I have to. Oh, I bet. Uh, yeah, I'm good. You, yes. <laughs> you should you understand then why. And I show my hands. Why we might want to find her because we would also like to be free of her influence. He's now pouncing around you and with his hooves and sense with, uh, with vigor. Do you think you have a chance against her? Yes. I know you, with that mouth and those hands and this attitude. Do not dare say anything about my ass, because I will. <laughs> <laughs> what again? What did you just say to me? What you heard. I'm in a really bad mood. You know what? You know what? If you think you have a chance, and he goes towards the middle. If you think you have a chance, prove yourself to me! And she he launches a, a, a punch, a strong punch, inside of the, the main mushroom, and spores emanate from that. And I need everyone to make a constitution saving throw. Oh, no. no, not me. No, bro. Oh no, bruh. 40, oh no, bruh. Okay. Oh, it's a nine. It's a nine. Oh, really? I have. That's the 20. Minus. 17. Succeed. 16. Fail. Fail. What? Five. So the only one who succeeded is the the, the, uh, the, uh, the Dendro. And I'm gonna need you guys to roll me initiative. <laughs> Four initiative. Oh no, I got big. Oh, you can roleplay this uh, bit. Um, what? What? Um, question though. Yes. Well, in the meantime, from the time when I carried the, our dearly departed, <laughs> our dear baker, from this moment on, did yeah. we have chance for a short rest or do we have to announce it? Uh, you have to announce it. I don't think you got a chance oh, for a short oh, rest. Oh, nice. mm. What is that map? It's so good. With it's like a, a pixie ate chocolates and candy and vomited. <laughs> this Love is it. Corvo, by the way. You can see him oh. a little bit. Oh my god. Oh. He's sitting here. And I'm gonna meet everyone. You can also see the minis beautifully play painted. Some of them by uh, the Dysylvania crew. Yes. Some of them landed by our friends. And some of them by Diana from Rolling Hills. Oh, yeah. Yes. So, um, Vlad, I will need your help to, like, Vlad, actual Vlad, to check the camera from now and then if it's rolling. Yeah. Um, cool. Thank you. So, where is everybody sitting and what's your initiative? We're going to go one by one. And we're going to put also combat music to go into the oh. mood. Um, do, 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 do. do we take any damage from the Constitution saving throw? Uh, no, oh, you wait. failed it. Apart and, from, uh, and that's it? That's it, so for now. So um, we're gonna start with uh, Giovanni Giorgio. Yeah. Giovanni Giorgio has an initiative of seven. No, nice. initiative. Giovanni Giorgio, let's check. Seven. Uh, so where do you think you're, you're gonna be sitting? Um, he said he jumped in the middle. He is, here is Corvo. Relatively close to Corvo, most likely. Here? Ten feet away from Corvo. Here. Yep, that's Each perfect. mushroom, by the way, it's difficult terrain. You can step on it. The muse is not summoned, right? Exactly. Next one, uh, Gorin. Uh, Eleven. Just saying, we have the oh, queen of mushrooms here. <laughs> this is your terrain, man. Eleven. Where do you think you're gonna sit? Uh, Eleven. somewhere behind Giovanni. Here. Uh, two spaces. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Here. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, then next one is um, Algernon. Thirteen. 13. Somewhere in the back, like the back. Here? <laughs> right. Here? Yep. Far away <laughs> from combat. Ready. Okay. Far away from combat. Do we have time for a bathroom break? You can. We, we can also it. have a bathroom break, like a one minute bathroom break and come back. Woo! Woo! <laughs> so.
now we're back from the bio break and we have the the everything aligned on the battle map as you can see um so we have corvo forest then the andro then uh aldernon goren giovanni sarah saren and angelus so corvo is gonna launch in an, in an attack with a multi-attack um with its short bow trying to hit you uh the right. uh first one is um uh 23 um, does it hit 23 it would however i'm gonna use silver barbs on the fucker okay and uh, that spell basically how how do the barbs appear and how do you uh, do I have to roll with disadvantage right yes the second yes. one it's a 21 <laughs> has a plus 3 to attack too. just by the way plus 10 sorry to attacks and I rolled an 11 <laughs> all right nonetheless I who has advantage you also have to give yeah. someone an advantage. And describe me how the barbs appear. And his Giovanni is gonna get advantage. On um, as for the barbs, yeah. I simply take my stuff and slide it on the ground and plants grow out and try to pierce his hands so that he can't. He misses. And he, he he misses sort of the first, but the 21 second one hits. How much is your AC? Let me check. It's 18. 18. It hits. So yes. you take... But this is not... 46 is... Oh my fucking god! <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it's a uh, uh, fourteen plus three, seventeen. The first one. The second one, I think it's gonna miss. It's a three. Thirteen. It misses. The second one just ricochets out of your armor. <laughs> And then the third one is still gonna be into you, and it's gonna be, I think it's another miss, it's 13 plus 11, 14 misses. And he looks in your eyes and says, I'm gonna get you next round. I'm gonna get you next. Uh, Algernon. No, uh, Deandro is first. Yeah. With Arjunon on deck, yeah. please be prepared, then is Goren, so we know what we're doing. Does she have any metal on him? <laughs> doesn't have anything on him. <laughs> <laughs> Let me put it that way. He spits a thing. Something just yelled in the forest. This is yeah, something. You try to hold person. How much do I have to? Um, um, Forty wisdom. Forty wisdom. He has advantage on wisdom saving throws. A natural twenty and a five. So this spells uh, on uh, the, the ricochet doesn't hold. You try to hold him. It's my turn again. Yeah. And I can't use the reaction for silver bars. Again? Okay, so he has... Two hands, and he has his advantage. On the next one? On the, the second first one. Yeah. Okay, so I roll again. Because the trigger roll. is when he succeeds. Okay, so I roll again once. 14 plus... 
How much is it? For oh, sorry. So much. But, but, it's just plus one. It's it's fifty. But I'm sorry. Yeah. So, so, but uh, still, someone gets okay. advantage. It can be uh, the same person, but you can uh, point. Till a row will get the <laughs> Saren, you get advantage and by the flower barbs who just. Um... I have a question. Do I still have advantage? Yeah. Okay. Uh, also, a question: Can I use uh, for this? Uh, can I use cutting words as a reaction? Yep. Let me oh, check. Nice. Uh, that is. Uh, it's depending to something that happens to you or not. It's a reaction that you can use. No, it's an attack roll. Makes an attack roll, but not against me. Uh, one second. Yes. Cutting boards. Oh, okay, right, it's the feet. Yep. Uh, as a reaction, I can tell that it's not immune for being charmed. Yes. Yeah. It's, uh, you can expand one barding inspiration for, for his saving throw. Roll. A D6, I believe. Yeah. yeah. If it's above. It's a two. It's a two. It just failed! <laughs> just failed! Yes! Yeah, she just failed because it was a 15 and your DC is 14. 14 and it's, it's a 13. So, vines begin to sprout off the ground and tie him up real good. <laughs> and he's him paralyzed. Paralyzed, cool. And my cutting words are. You sniveling, stinking donkey. That's what makes me. Donkey. Uh, donkey. As a bonus action, I'm going to cast Shillelagh. 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 Cantrip. Cantrip on a bonus action. So now you have, you can hit with the might of magic on your quarter staff. Yes. Yeah. Let's go, baby. Next one is uh, Algernon. Algernon with Gorin. Ah. I look at the battlefield, I am terrified, I almost piss myself. <laughs> I rage and then I run out to cry! Because I'm not ready for this and I will run away! With, wherever, away from the combat! <laughs> run away! Yes, then I will try, if possible, to hide! Is it possible? <laughs> yeah, you are. You can uh, roll me a stealth. I'm a hide as a dead person. <laughs> <laughs> With a minus two, this is a... Oh, 14. Oh. 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 Okay, next. Like this is all for your next. Gorin, you're next. Uh, Gorin, uh, as my um, action, I am gonna... Uh, do dissonant whispers, mm. cast uh, whispers of his uh, tailed goatee uh, past into his ears, and he uh, has to pass a wisdom check, saving throw. Okay, wisdom again. If it's low, let me check. If it's uh, paralyzed, uh, incapacitated, automatically fail strength. Uh, attack rolls have disadvantage. Any attack that hit the creature is uh, critical hit. Okay, wisdom. 13 plus 1, 14. How much is your? 14. 14. It meets it beats. Sorry? It meets, so it beats your. Okay. 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 Almost there, almost there. Yep. So you start whispering things in his ears, and for a second he looks he took by it, but he say, shakes his head, at least mentally, <laughs> because he can't shake it in real life. And he looks with those intent, hedonistic eyes, and with intent towards you, and he growls. You hear a low. Mm -hmm. right. I will do mad things with your body. Uh, as an answer to his growl, I uh, move my whiskers menacingly. <laughs> 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 and uh, with my bonus action, I'm uh, gonna um, give uh, Bardic Inspiration uh, to Giovanni. Giovanni! Mm. Just in time, because it's your turn, you have advantage and you have also Bardic Inspiration. And my inspiration to him is, uh, you can do it, fashion man. You can do it. <laughs> Stitch him up. Oh, wow. oh. Thank you. I am much know how the same <laughs> him intently in his eyes and I'll tell you. You've given me the honor of your name. Cor. I'll have you know my name, as my enemies call me. Everyone calls me Giovanni Giorgio, but my true name is Jojo. As I and I say <laughs> <laughs> I manifest uh, my muse. 
The muse! Literally next to him. As the muse appears, he has appears, he has to make a dex saving throw. Fails it. Mula! He fails it. He takes 2d4 damage. Uh, roll it. Roll it. Roll it. Roll it. I don't even know how to read this one. That it's a two yeah. and a three. He takes five damage. Wow. I then mean, I shall attack him. I mean, with okay. advantage and bardic inspiration. Attack him with yeah. advantage and bardic inspiration. <laughs> I was like, okay. I've rolled a uh, 12 plus 7, 19 plus bardic inspiration. What was it? A d6 or a d8? Oh, a d6. Six. Six. At this level. You don't have to use it though. I, I don't have to use it. Oh, cool. I, I'll roll with 19 then. Okay. 19. Hits. Definitely hits okay. because he's a crit. It's a crit, yeah. It's automatically. So double roll twice the dice and one time the proficiency bonus. I roll one and three, four plus a five, it's nine damage. Cool. Uh, then I shall step away from him. Uh, you hit him with the muse. Yeah. Spectral hands just punch him and uh, leave uh, um, wounds on his beautiful face and on his muscle uh, torso. He looks at you. So much tension. He, he growls. <laughs> As he growls, they step away and spit at his feet. So much masculinity. The muse will always be five feet around me anywhere. Oh, okay. Cool. Next, do you finish your turn? Yes, I do. Okay, so next is Saren with Angelus on deck. Okay, um, the advantage that I have from before, yeah. can I, is that my, like, the next, like, attack I have? Well, I think so. so. Yeah. With somebody barbs, I can also check. Yes, the yeah. next attack roll ability check. Oh no, the next, uh, it makes within one minute. Okay, okay. Um, I'm gonna run in and I'll pull out my dagger and my sword. Here? Yeah. And then I'm going to... I want to kind of slowly work my way around him, so I'm going to attack with the sword as I start to move around. And then I want to try and swipe at his car, like, I guess, calves or hamstring or something to try and just like with my dagger afterwards. You automatically hit and crit with because he is paralyzed. Nice. Okay, so that's a. Are you automatically hit? Don't you have advantage? You have a you don't have, you? Have, uh, you have if you hit, yeah, they're right, you're right, you're right. You have so I have to yeah. still roll. Yeah. With yeah. advantage. <laughs> so one out of 15 plus uh, unnatural 20. Okay. Oh, hit for the sword. <laughs> and you have to okay. attack. And then that's the... for damage. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Curse. Yeah. Curse. But you have to watch Buster Yorman. You have to attack. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because of my thing, I can I always and have to attack. It's a crit, so all right. this double. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Okay. Uh, nine. But you roll twice. 16. Can I just double the dice? I have very bad luck when I have to roll them twice. That's the rules. We roll it again. Okay. Maybe Nine, may everybody 16. has luck at my table. <laughs> Let's see. No? no apparently 16, not. 23. 20, 20, 23 plus 326 for the, with the sneak attack with the sword. Okay, 26. A lot of and damage. Then I'm going to come round, like as I loop round, I'm going to get like his leg or his calf or something. You get the both. Dagger. One with one the left leg at the tendril, like Achilles tendril, and the other one the calf. Do I need to roll again for the dagger? Yes. For the second attack. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I can do one with the my bonus action yeah. can be my yeah. uh, this one's also an advantage? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's uh, paralyzed. Uh, yeah, probably not. That's uh thirteen. Misses. Um, okay, and then I just kind of like essentially, I want to sort of like slice, slice, kind of do a little spin on my like, knee and just like go darting off in the direction. So who's that closest to me? Like this coming one. off this one, towards this me, one? Yeah. It's the intro. Yeah. It's me. Yeah. So I'm gonna sort of like essentially loop around him. Yeah. And then, Here? Yeah. 
You smell some human shit, huh? <laughs> uh, so, uh, go, 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 Angelus. Uh, Angelus will uh, extend his arm, and in his arm, through shadows, his rapier will uh, manifest. And his eyes will go bright yellow as his voice goes deeper and devilish as he says, Malediccio. And all the shadows around the city starts to hang on to him and drag his hands down and his feet, trying to strangle him as he is has hex blade first. Uh, as, uh, Actually, I have no condition rings. Let me just. Hex blade. Okay. Yes. Bam! And then paralyzed, right? Uh, yes. Yes. Paralyzed. And concentration? Who needs concentration? I am. Mean. Okay, so you need concentration, and who else? I think you have to just On a hex, no. No, no, text big. No, right, no. Because the curse, not the spell. Right. It's the curse. Cool, cool, cool. Um, he will uh, dart uh, towards uh, the same deer and just do a with the rapier. I will not get sneak attack because nobody's close. Um, so he will attack. Uh, that's you a 19 to hit. You sneak attack because you have advantage. Oh, of yeah. course, I guess. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. You roll with advantage because he's paralyzed. Yeah. Uh, that's a 19 to hit. Hits. So okay. it's a crit. It's a How crit. crit roll? Do I roll? You roll twice. You roll twice. twice the and once the proficiency bonus. Okay. All so the bonuses. That's, uh, four plus three. That's seven plus four from the sneak attack. That's uh, eleven. Eleven. Do I roll again? Just the uh, all of it. All of it. All of it. Okay, that's uh, 10 plus 4, uh, 14. So 11 plus 14, 25. 25. Very good, very good. He's looking bloodied. Uh, I already have here. Uh, you here did the uh, 75 HP damage just in one round. With all the creeding. <laughs> Okay, cool. Okay, do you like that? Suck up. Okay. But as you finish the turn, the mushrooms behind you start to manifest. Wait, we have the to queen. save the queen. They're the queen. Don't attack the queen. Oh my god. Hi, Dios. Do not touch Queen Mushroom. <laughs> One are, some are tall, some are wide. Would they yell this battle cry? And they uh, lunge forward and try to make an attack. Um, could I... So, the, not the formal reaction, but can I use my crown when I see them and be like, Stop! And you can, you can do that, yeah. <laughs> but as an action, on your turn. Okay, it has to be my action, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so, the first thing that's gonna happen, you're gonna get a fist in your face. <laughs> fist With a uh, 17, does that hit? No! 17 now? No, I have 18. Ah, the Wait, first one misses, and then the second one will make uh, pacifying spores. So, uh, spores from it will, will start to, to, to conjure, and um, um, you're in five feet of it, and you have to do a constitution saving throw. Perfect. Sixteen. Sixteen. That saves. Fuck. This guy is just like when I when I see I'm gonna just stop breathing at this point. Okay, so <laughs> just completely stop breathing. Then if if he is saying that you're controlling this spell, he's gonna get no oh, down. Oh, what did he say? He is gonna sense it. Sense it. Opportunity from me. Yeah, yeah. opportunity. Yeah, me as well. Two opportunities coming by. Ascension. Flush, flush. Flush, flush, flush. Thank you. Flush. Kill it with fire, boys. Uh, 18. 18. Hits. And that is a 14. Misses. Oh, no, sorry. It's 12. Sorry. I thought I looked at the center. It hits as well. Hits as well. Yeah. Go. Go hit the monsters. I deal 7 damage. And I deal 5. 
seven damage. The DM said you're not convincing boys. Go! You have no monsters. Okay, so it's 12 in total. Yes. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so, as you hit, this one will go and launch a fist towards you. He's fisting you. 16. 16 plus, I'm looking again at the wrong thing. 16 plus. 18. Barely hits. It means it hits, right? Okay. Do you still have fucking work? Yeah. Do you still have it? Yep. Because it was your turn. So you can use it. Please do. Six. 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 So, uh, uh, he's trying to, to, to fist your face. You overrated spore muncher. <laughs> they turn and miss, miss by, by an inch. Um, ooh. So this is their turn. And then in the back, Oh, come on. Yes. There's another satire. <laughs> and they're trying to, they will try to short bow your ass. Don't I have cover from the big ass mushroom next to me? Uh, so, we go for him. For him. Don't I have cover from the big ass mushroom next to me? There's a big mushroom. Yeah, but he's here. No, no, no. Uh, this one. That one. You're right. <laughs> you want to be from there? The thing he hates you, I don't know, it's him. Uh, you're right, you're right. He would have had time to run around. Uh, so, one run second. Away. Thank you, thank you for pointing that out. Thank you, I really appreciate it. So, <laughs> I think the first one will miss because it's a 16. Let's see the second. It's worse. And the third one, though, hits! Uh, so, it's a... Uh, Nine. Still alive. Still alive. Oh God, but look? roll me a Constitution saving throw yeah, for concentration. He really wants that old person down. I think you do too. <laughs> oh, I do too. <laughs> so? How much? Eight. Eight. It fails. You get sting. I mean, you have fought so hard. Spells flying in the air, it arrows an missing. It's not an elemental, it's medium fate. Say it's not an elemental damage. It's not elemental damage, it's piercing. Fate damage. And uh, miss, and this one is no longer petrified, but it's hexed, and you're no longer concentrating. Sorry. Uh, you really want to take him down. Okay. Yeah, but the satire is bleeding. What did the hex do? Uh, it has extra damage to my damage. And also you can crit on a 19. Yeah. And top of the round, it's Corvo. Corvo! Corvo turns. And kisses me passionately. Go to legs. Headbutt. <laughs> no, no, mine. <laughs> uh, he's bleeding. Yes, he's bleeding. I mean, I mean, I didn't be expect to, for you to do this much damage in one turn. <laughs> and he was like, was... enough! Yeah, and he will take was... again his his uh, his fist, plunge it in here. Oh God! So he moves. Mm. No, no, he oh. moves. <laughs> He just uh, touches this shroom. He doesn't move. He extends his arm. He extends his arm. He plunges into the the middle shroom, and um, something happens. <laughs> Give them a break. <laughs> Facing the shroom. And those elephants are going crazy. <laughs> More elephants because something does happen. Why do you have to speak? <laughs> he says enough, and then. There's a giant whoosh of light. A smash of noise and your face start to distort. You know that 3D effect that you have, like long exposure? Or in, in colors? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes, I know. This happens and then time just stops. For everyone? For everyone. Apart from Dendro. Apart from Dendro. It stops. 
And then it turns over, thinks a bit, and begins unwinding backwards. You see just this satire disappearing. The shrooms trying to attack uh, uh, Deandro, just moving backwards and then disappearing. And then you uh, launching forward your uh, your muse and hitting him backwards, and you getting more um, the blood in your in your body. Everything moves backwards apart from the intro. And at the end, you sit you sit around Corfu in your initial stance, including you, little one, baby. I know. But Just actually, talking I with all your spell slots back in your full health, apart from you. Oh, you well. you succeed your constitution saving for you are not Yay, affected by the sports. Shots. Oh no, it's a um, no, no. Sometimes good is bad and bad is good. Feywild. Feywild stuff. I fucking hate this place. And he says, I love it. You fought valiantly. His wounds are now closed. Mm. Good job. Everyone, apart from you, you cried like a little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you bitch. Uh, it's, it's true. Man. Do I also get my inspiration we, back? Yeah. Do we remember yeah. everything that just happened? Yeah. What? Do we remember like the yeah, fight that just happened? That happened. Oh, and you witness it. Witness this beautiful time and color play around you. It was so nice, you wished you was a big part of it. <laughs> it was, yeah, it was no good for this. You fought valiantly, and uh, he pats you on the shoulder. Now, Not too hard, because I might die. <laughs> Can you also get rid of this and that? Because I can't deal with his voice. <laughs> Please. I think it just has to wear off. And your shoulder is your tiny shoulder. I don't want to read that <laughs> slip. Your place. Oh no. <laughs> of course, bloody that. <laughs> I sleep here. This don't is. Don't have a bed? Are you homeless? Do you, do you, this is my home. Do you need a bed to sleep? I think he needs one. <laughs> and yes. Do you have beds? Yes, yeah, not here, but they're not homeless. I mean, I'm happy to just sleep on the floor. Yes, your highness. You do very well to sleep on the floor. <laughs> like any queen. <laughs> Can I roll an insight to see if I was just insulted? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've been insulted. Uh, 13 plus... Minus one, 12. So with a 12, it's enough. With a 12, you understand that he doesn't... He lives in a mushroom forest. He says he doesn't have a bed. He so doesn't just... know a life with a bed. And now he, you think, you see those eyes just thinking, thinking behind uh, that gaze that he has. Um, and he's considering a bed. <laughs> so what are we going to be staying to sleep, like a long rest? But I feel so refreshed. You <laughs> do. <laughs> Mushrooms. Make a bed. Make a bed. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happens. <laughs> Tell me. I mean, they you could just. Over the floor. You so, could <laughs> cut the tops of the mushroom and make a bed that way. You could, but, but maybe maybe come that from requires me. the mushroom knowing what the bed is. <laughs> I, I'm simply gonna get my blanket, put it on the ground, make myself. <laughs> Some good berries and eat <laughs> what? A box. Uh, six, six. How many good berries can you make? Uh, make you you also have, have, have the fruit. fruit. <laughs> you have the magical mango. You have fruits. Oh, yeah. The magical oh, so have the slice of Do we not use that in uh, when we're facing the hack? He's so dead. Yeah. Well, he's not he's not dead, but the hag is still alive, and I'm thinking we could use the magical fruit when we're uh... Yes, but we have four, seven, and one that is not opened yet. Yeah. And I have a medicine. Eleven total. Yes, but yeah. he I'm eating is... six. How much have yes. you? Seven. 
Oh. <laughs> Good berries. And I'm full. Talk a little bit slower. So what are you doing? Are you sleeping here now? Wait, I don't know. I'm how... making you a better coat, so I guess so. How quickly uh, would we get to get me from here? I mean, it's the Feywild. No one really knows. Then <laughs> yes, we will be sleeping. Because I want this to wear off before I face the flabby pack. How long is long and how thin is thin? I am in the Feywild. He he he. That's I don't think that you really hate it. <laughs> doesn't have my It's one of the most important He stretches with his muscle. Oh, the uh, market is that way. <laughs> Not my thing, but ignore him. He's a bit grumpy today. I'm a bit grumpy every day. <laughs> I just like look at him like again, not my thing. But uh, neither. You. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> neither Are there any female faces around? Uh, <laughs> need neither you, sweetheart. That's good to know. Um, what? but do we have a general direction of where we can go to find the headmate? Yeah, I can tell you now that I know we have a chance of defeating her once and for all. Are you gonna help us? Are you gonna come and join us? Uh, maybe. Depends. <laughs> I mean, it's very sad to see the one with the small mouth really, really bringing it. He's the one that actually beat me. Yeah, yeah, he is. He's actually pretty good. Yeah. Too good. Yeah. You can have his company if you come with us. He doesn't seem interested. Oh, his company. He, <laughs> he usually doesn't have a small mouth. It's just now he has such a big mouth. Also, he's sort of old for my taste. Well, here I am. Fresh blood. I'm yeah. vintage, bitch. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not looking anywhere. You like those uh, dolls that are still in the package? <laughs> <laughs> the bars so. from the 1960s. Yes, I think we will be resting here, yes? Okay, yes. Oh, you're awake now. <laughs> <laughs> the disappointment. Why are you just pretending to sleep? <laughs> I can even as tired as I am. Well, I can just put myself on the blanket and sleep with you all huddled around me. So what did he say? Let's I make it simple. <laughs> Oh, you said he's in Sylvan? Yes! Okay. I'm addressing him. Okay. And okay, I think we're gonna sleep all together here. Yes. yes. Hey, couch party. <laughs> I am like... Inside check! I, I do that! <laughs> Natural 20! Oh, wow! Oh, wow. <laughs> Somebody's getting lucky tonight. <laughs> I'm getting lucky. Fate black! <laughs> Yeah, it's a black. <laughs> I would like to use uh, for resting. I would like to use this time to craft him a proper attire. Me. My yeah, beautiful long coat. Okay. Yeah. I also take my loot out of the satchel and start to make another limerick uh, towards Corvu, and uh, I say, there was a satire named Corvu. <laughs> he made a mushroomy dream for you, oh. and if it behooves. He struts and he moves and makes all your fantasies come true. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> this one really, really got talent. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you wish to do something else before going to sleep? Yes! I'm gonna take a rope and my bell and I'm gonna make a parameter of the rope. So that if somebody touches the rope, the bell rings. You know we have uh, guardians, right? I can. I can it. never be too sure. Okay. He's a. Uh, he's something. So, what do you want to craft me, young Giovanni Giorgio? Giorgio. Giorgio. Ah, uh, you know, we're, we're the enemies now, right? No, we were enemies, but I like that better. Uh, I will craft you something worthy of your uh, name. Okay. Yeah. What is that? I don't know yet. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna see that. So you start crafting and you do not sleep, right? No, I'm sure. You don't take the exhaust exhaustion levels. Yeah. It has been like 12 hours, 10 hours. I will only take a short rest at a certain point and that's it. 
Oh. Uh, Angela, what do you do? Um, before heading to meditation, because that's what I do, um, he would um, go a little bit aside from the group and stand at the base of a huge mushroom and close his eyes and in his mind he would talk to the voice that has been accompanying him since he was little. Please tell me if he's safe. And then he will have the meditation. You're stupid for being here. It was a stupid mistake. Do you want a hack so? They smile. You feel they smile. And then I can give you a gift. And Jolly comes back to the truth. I am famished, famished. And I'm willing to please. <laughs> That's what and I it goes I'm I mean I'm a grandpa Zage. <laughs> I sleep, I don't know, maybe 80, uh, 18 hours, so I'm down under. Usually old people sleep less, but yeah. okay. <laughs> I he's, can he's tell you that that's different. not true. <laughs> I am a vintage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like an old wine, I don't drink wine, but oh my. When you open so, it up. Um, when Aldrin I on just sleeps on yeah. a pile of grass or something. In, and in please his... <laughs> do you snore? Yo, oh yeah. <laughs> Yo, you can bet your ass I snore. Yeah, and I have some... <laughs> oh my god, he's choking. Yeah. <laughs> Those types. <laughs> Everybody let him be! Followed by... Let him go, you please. <laughs> <laughs> the nature has run its course. <laughs> Do I need to make a constitution search to see if I die? <laughs> Do I roll a percentile? Not now? nice! <laughs> <laughs> percentile, a hundred, oh dead. <laughs> Before I craft, I would like to ask uh, the cleric to uh, guide my hands while I do so. Guidance. Thank you. What do you do? Do you want wish to do something? <coughs> I'm gonna ask the sick. So, you've been in the service of that hack for many years. Oh, yes. Can you tell us more about our abilities and what we are to face? Oh, yes. But I won't. <laughs> and will you? But what do I get in return? Uh, Sex! <laughs> 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 I was waiting for that. Oh my. I love the turn this game yeah. took. I <laughs> know. <laughs> so unexpected. Of, 50 yeah. Shades of Fey oil. Just <laughs> man waking up. He wants sex, man. <laughs> 50 Shades of Fey. Oh <laughs> 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 Remember to protect yourself. Oh, yes, I Don't do. Don't you want your heart back? Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> then, you know, you take this mushroom and it gives you a mushroom. And when you think you have a chance at beating her, you summon me. Mm. Because I cannot cross the realms between the silly and the unsilly court. How much is it to you? I don't need to know anything about this. As I point at my eye. Yeah. This is called Kiss by a Hack. Your eye most likely is the reason why Gehet may follow you. Oh, it's your fault. Maybe she has your eye actually somewhere in her lair. Interesting development. Oh, Thank you. yes, it is. And I see your pixie voice has gone away, and your mouth looks normal. Congratulations. My ass, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and your ass as well. Okay. Um. 
I am just going to essentially practice getting used to this weird yeah. new arrangement of my hands and feet. So like climbing somersaults using my weapons. Um, just to make sure it hasn't actually like <laughs> affected me too much and if it has to try and work out those kinks and if anyone is watching you'll notice like when I'm doing some like cartwheels like it's almost like I kind of almost misstep with my hands a few times so man but your brain development is gonna be crazy I know it's gonna be this is what I'm about to say so at that point everything is nuts you can make head or tails of this arrangement mm -hmm. but at some point it just clicks mm -hmm. and even though it looks super weird you can use your hands and your legs that are mm -hmm. reversed now and be dexterous <laughs> keep up and legs just like I'm climbing up those trees and maybe do my like usual some assaults and things. I just imagine the scary move you know, you're with the head like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, oh, that's horrible. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you feel the egg in us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and in the next season, I'm walking there. <laughs> <laughs> so, what about you, uh, uh, Corin? I um, asked, I asked um, Corvo, how does. How does she know all these things about us? Oh, but she can read your mind. Can she? How? Mm. She has a spell for it. She can. Mm. She can read minds. Detect uh, It's right. It's she can read thoughts, and <laughs> as long as you're close to her, she can penetrate right in and read all your surface thoughts. Don't you like to impale me with your own? Is the fame realm related in any way to the purgatory? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> The book retreats something related to faith. faith. I mean, if you make a deal with a god that offers this alternate direction, di dimension between what you primers call heavens and hell, and she has a deal with that entity, she can, but it's not directly connected. Okay, I'm satisfied by the answers. I grab my loot and start to uh, fine tuning it again. Back it up. <laughs> I so it looks as as everybody re gets ready to sleep. You look at the sun, and it's still there. It doesn't. It hasn't moved one inch, and you realize that the sun in this world doesn't move. And we're gonna see each other next time as we finish today's episode and we're gonna see each other in a week. In a week. Yay, thank you guys. It was so, so, so nice having you at the table. We're gonna see each other next week. And uh, before that, we have a saying. It was a good game, it was a good day, good night, and don't, don't let, let the vampires bite <laughs> And this is the phase where you make vampire noises. Yes. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to suck the blood! Okay, bye! <laughs>